That's right, it's more than just... Yo yo! How's it going guys? Just quickly, um... I think the music, oh yeah, the music's a bit too loud, a bit too loud. I think... Yeah, that, that should be better. But let me quickly post it on the Discord. Post it on the other, like, public Discords. Did that, did that. Um, what else do I have to post? Oh yeah. I've got to post it on, um... The Facebook gaming group, innit? Facebook gaming group. Where is it? Smiling Monster Album Online. Let me quickly post that and then we can start with the stream. How's it going, man? Yo, two kids missed. IMC, Ron. How's your day going, boss? So far, so good, yep. Yeah. Uh, had a nice, nice eight hour sleep. No interruptions, just like watched some anime, went to bed, read some manga, knocked out. Eight hours later, I woke up and just like, yes, that was that was good, that was good. So yeah, it's been pretty good, it's been pretty good. Um, just sorting some of this stuff out real quick. Yeah, that's done. That's done. Cool, oh, cool. Oh, Discord's done. Facebook's done. Chat's connected. Um. The chatbot is also connected. Good, good. I think we turn off the, the fight script though, because the fight script doesn't work right now. Yep, good, good, good. Everything else is good. Test the command, so quickly test quest. Yo, Hurst, what's up? And then test the uh, FFA. Make sure the mini games are working. Is the bot connected? I don't think the bot's connected. We can try um, dice. Was it coin? Coin. One thousand. And then we'll see if the the bot is connected. It doesn't look like the bot is connected. Should be connected. Oh, it is. Nobody entered the raffle. There we go. Bot is connected. Bot is connected. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't need the Discord right now. So I can just minimize that. Wait for the game to turn up, and then we can switch uh, switch scenes. But yeah, how you guys doing, man? Pretty good day, pretty chill day. Sorted out some real life stuff. Um, 
went and had my second uh, COVID vaccine today. So like, it's not hurt. So if I do that, it, it hurts a bit because the, the injection is there. But apart from that, everything else is good. No temperature, no side effects. Um, yeah, we're doing good so far. We're doing pretty good so far. So let's log into the first character for today, which is Blood Pain. Gonna finish my semester this Sunday. Time to finally grind. Nice. It's it's nice when you get like um just like days off the play. And you don't have to worry about nothing else. It's a it's a pretty good feeling. So we withdraw 200 tier 6 journals. Because we have 200 um laborers. So we'll start off as always with the the King Island. Yep. Start off with the King Island. I'm literally crying about the nerfed axis. Clearing solo dungeons is so slow now. Ron, next weapon you go is crossbow. The next weapon you go is crossbow, explosive bolt, cow traps, well prepared combo. Is RWT easily detected? I'm guessing you mean RMT. RMT is easily. Well, yes and no, but majority yes. If it's like a guy who doesn't know what he's doing, then yes, definitely. Oh, real world trading. Yeah, it's called uh, RMT, which is real money trading. But real world trading also works. And yes, this game is really strict on real world trading. Unless you're um, unless you're a big guild leader that influences people, apparently. Due to Reddit gossip. Um, not my knowledge, just like stuff I've been reading on Reddit. You know... Like Syndic, Dirty, Mojo, uh, African Now, all of these people that you see in the, the Reddit memes. Points. Oh, nice. People are getting a lot of points. I think I need to change the... Let me quickly change the ranking because it is a bit too much. Currency, we get rankings, results. Um, edit. I think we get... There you go. So we go rank. Do you do ganking? Yes, but the first thing I do always in live stream, I always do my daily daily money making routine. So you guys have like an hour or so to ask me questions, like all the questions you need to know about Albion Online. We get that out of the way, we get the money making out of the way, and whatever money I make that day, I go on and do PvPing and adventuring. Um, I don't know why the guild bot is messaging twice. Let me connect it and disconnect it again. That is a bit weird. Disconnect. There you go. It only did it once. Connect again. Okay. Stream is live. Bot is live. Everything else should be good. I need to move over this way a bit. Like, I've got the end of my table, which is here. And I normally move my mouse quite a bit, so... Sometimes I hop over there and I get a little bit of space. Not 11 hours stream, I changed it down to 3. It's not 11 hours dude, I changed it down to 3. 11 hours was a long time. Any nice builds for like crossbow? Yeah, Joel go to my channel. Go to the video that's titled Uncrowned King of Speed Clearing. Which now it will probably be one of the crown, like the, the king of speed clearing. Because um, the Great Axe got nerfed for PvE, they buffed it a bit for PvE, but then again, it's lost its identity. Because the Great Axe was known as the speed of um, the King of Speed Clearing, now it's like a 50-50. Um, it's okay at PvP, it's okay at PvE, so you know. Uh, it's top 5 time. No space, top 5 time, no space. Yo, you shouldn't be asking about RMTs on stream. I'm just letting you know, bro. RMT is bannable in Albion Online. It's bannable in all games. You shouldn't be RMTing because that hurts the economy. Oh, next one. Next one. So, if you ask how to RMT, I'm going to ban you. Or time you out. If you're asking what is RMT, that's okay. Ready to leave? 
you need to know what it is so you don't get caught in by it. Also, if you trade anybody that has RMT'd... Not 11 hours, bro. Alright, uh, Tom or Alf, do points. I mean, do rank. Do anybody that's not missed the two kids do exclamation mark rank. May I ask what it is? Yes, RMT means real money trading or RWT, real world trading, is when you trade in-game silver for real life money. So say um, you sell um, silver, so you trade it to somebody and they trade you through PayPal or bank transfer or whatever it is. So basically you're paying somebody with real life currency to buy in-game currency and that is bannable by Alvin Online. So you do not want to RMT. You don't want to be friends with anybody that RMTs. You don't want any items that have been bought with RMT silver. So say somebody of your friends or somebody of your guild buys RMT silver. They bought 10 million silver. With that 10 million silver, they buy sets of gear or they buy like a battle mount or like a grizzly bear or whatever. And then they trade you that grizzly bear. You can also get banned permanently forever for RMTing. Also, if you trade somebody that has RMTed, for any type of silver value, they can also ban your account. So just be careful. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Yeah, that's okay. You can ask questions, you can understand what it is, but I, it's a piece of advice to not ask how to RMT on any gaming site, any forum, because if the moderators see that, they'll ban you straight away. So if you wanna keep your account safe, if you've been playing the account for two years like I have, you avoid anything to do with RMT. You don't talk about RMT. Just uh, just enjoy your game is how I look at it. Um, how can I do quests? You do exclamation mark quest and then you put in a number. So like any um, value or between one to whatever. And that is the amount of currency that you use. Like my YouTube channel point system is called Guild Points. You, you're a part of the Smiley Mustard Guild. Welcome guys. You can use your guild points to do activities like go on quests, fight each other, go into free for all battle arenas, fight bosses, gamble like dice, coin, slots, all of that stuff to earn more guild points. And later on, when I implement the um, rewards for guild points, you guys can like purchase like in game uh, perks like duel me or like corrupted dungeons right now, HCE with me one time. Like all of those perks are going to be accessible through guild points. So right now, your aim is to maximize the amount of guild points you have. So when I input the um, rewards, you can redeem them. Also, let me give you give you a bonus. So I'm gonna did I spell that right? I think I spelled that right. Bow. Nope, I didn't spell that right. Bonus. There you go. Yep, I swapped the N and the U. So I've just used my um, channel points. To give everybody who's watching right now a boost in channel points so if you're new you can get some channel points up and running and you can start participating in the mini games so enjoy um ouch out is there a way to get them off the game like report or something you can report rm tiers uh, but you need concrete evidence you can't report just because of Discord messages because um, they don't do it work like that because they can be forged easily, something like that. I don't know a lot about it. I just know you should do it and don't get involved with anybody that does do it. Um, thank you, no problem. You're already an elite album streamer. Thank you, much appreciate, man. I started streaming when Corrupted Dungeons came out, but I believe that's last year, August. I sh um, was streaming on Twitch from August September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So like, what, five, six months? And then from April to, to now, which is May, I started streaming on YouTube. And I think I'm just going to stick to YouTube streaming. Why? Because majority of the people um, that are subscribed are on YouTube. Like my Twitch has like 400 followers. I used to average 10, 15 views. But when I started streaming on YouTube, um, the first stream I peaked at 93 concurrent viewers, which was amazing because I've never peaked at 93 viewers in uh, Twitch. And yeah, um, it's just easier because I just 
I don't know, I prefer YouTube streaming now. It doesn't have the like features of Twitch, like channel points, like tipping and all of that other stuff. But it has the basics, which is uh, you can watch the stream, you can interact with the stream. I set up the Streamlabs chatbot so you guys get like a channel point system so you can have like little fun mini games in chat. And then you can use the um, points that you want from the mini games to buy stuff later on. And then you can support. Um, also, guys, just like the video. It takes like one second to click like. It helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Um, yeah. Just just quickly hit that like button to help me out. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. That way you know when I post new videos, when um, new live streams are going to happen. So make sure you get the notification. Just turn on the notification bell. Press all so you know um, all the time when I go live. Salam brother, malikum salam. Salam malikum, malikum salam. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. That's how, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Because when I went to Egypt, it was uh, salam malikum, and then you say malikum salam. How's it going? How's it going, Muhammad? Stream pegging? Just curious what your net worth is since you're a YouTuber as well. Benji showed his net worth in one of his latest videos. I have no idea, Liam. Um. As in my YouTube net worth or my like Albion net worth? I know of Swell Benji. I've watched some of his videos. Um, he's pretty entertaining. But um, I, I normally watch all Albion online um, content creators and streamers. Like over on Twitch or over on YouTube. Like Swell Benji, Levi, Equal, Mathis, Dragneel. You know, all of those ones. Um... I never more Dream Thief Nazori, but they Dream Thief and Nazori don't do a lot of YouTube content. They're mainly streaming. But yeah, I've, um, I pretty much subscribe. Burnstone TV also. Burnstone TV is another good um, channel that does a lot of um, economy type videos, where others normally just do PvP. <coughs> um, stream lagging? I don't think the stream's lagging. The stream's okay, no? It, everything is green right now. Everything's green, nothing's red. So, cool. Exactly my point, you're an elite monster. Was part of that moment. Um, I'll be on that earth. Okay. Um, well, if you want, I can show you my collection of mounts and skins um, after I finish my laborers. If you want to see that, that is probably the, the only thing that's worth quite a bit in my, you know, in my collection. But we can do that after like five ten minutes. We can check later. Right now I'm on my alt character, but um, if you want, we can just go here. So I've got two, two, six, one, two, three, four. So right now I have six hundred and thirty mil in gold just sitting there. That you can add that to my net worth later on. So two hundred twenty-six k times whatever the market price is right now is roughly six hundred. Um, million gold million silver in gold your great your great brother you've helped me a newbie out a lot thanks no problem man that's why i made my videos like um a lot of new people were joining with the the corrupted dungeons update with the call to arms update with the stream release with the um mobile release and the game's been advertising quite a bit and they've been growing quite a bit so there's going to be a lot of new players right and what do new players need they need guides on how to catch up to the game how to make silver so instead of making it their like second job to just make silver you guys get videos you know how to make silver so you can just play the game that's the whole reason i've made the how to make bank series was instead of making album on your second game you have 20 plus money making videos and like several plus guides on the other playlist so you can just use that information um, select several money making methods do them yourself and then you can enjoy Albion online because you know as long as you do like this 30 minute hour activity you're going to make money best way to earn silver non-premium players rack corrupted dungeons by premium that is what you want to do corrupted dungeons right now are one of the best money makers and they're pretty broken so use them while you can because of the infamy system the loot gets better fame gets better silver gets better um, since you, me, and Swole Binge start at the same time, sort of. Um, when did Swole Binge start? And when did you start, Lim? Yeah. If you tell me when you started, I'll say if that's correct. Should you refine or sell resources as a beginner? 
if you have premium and you want to go the, the refining route then i recommend you refine and use your focus and learning points on refining if you don't and you just have resources then just sell them You don't have a secret stats with a hundred sets hidden, do you? I don't think so. I can show you where my banks are. Like my banking, um, like where I just keep my majority of my stuff. I've obviously got stuff distributed all over like all the banks and like black zone hideouts and like Morgana's rest, etc. But that's only like a couple million silver. Whereas I'll show you the main banks. But Mark the Mark. Hello. Hi. How you going, man? Quest on 50. Yeah, so guys, if you're the exclamation mark like commands, just click on the description and it will give you a list of all the commands that are currently implemented in um, the chat and you can use them to earn channel points. And you can use channel points to fight other viewers. You can use channel points to buy rewards. And right now you just want to collect the channel points. I tried to find people to play Albion with, but I swear if people don't find it on their own, they cannot grasp it all. Albion is a complex game because the tutorial it just tells you the basics of combat and like how to make gear like the basics of Albion online and then because it, it's sandbox is like okay you're off tutorial island do these couple of quests so you know like a bit of the game and then bang it just puts you into the game and it was a huge learning curve like when I started when the game first came out I had no idea I didn't play any of the betas I didn't play any of the closed beta testing I didn't do any of the alphas I started when the game launched because one of my friends was like, yo, come play this game. It's like old school RuneScape. It's got full loop PvP and I really like full loop PvP games. So I play Albion online for the RPG full loop PvP and I've recently bought Escape from Tarkov and I'm trying to get better at Escape from Tarkov because that's the FPS full loop PvP. So in Escape from Tarkov, if you kill somebody, you get all their loot basically. And um, I like full loot games because it feels good when you kill somebody, but it feels like shit when you die. So I'm really good at the MMO RPG side because I've been playing MMOs and RPGs for like 15 plus years. Um, shooters improving bit by bit every day. So can you give me any tips and tricks about spear PVE? Yeah, Frank. So spear PVE, there's quite a few weapons that are good in spear. So Trinity spear, um, normal spear, one one handed spear, heron spear, and spirit hunter are generally good because they have good aoe damage with forester spears the aoe q's and their e's are aoe as well so you basically just q w q e or you can e q w e and that should kill the mob pack and you just uh, use refreshing sprint to move on to the the next mob pack if you have any specific questions on pve feel free to type them out and i'll see what i can do march 2020 i started uh, i started um I started the game October 2017. Then till October, November, December, I stopped playing December 2017 and I came back to the game May 2019. And I've been playing since May 2019 on and off. I've only taken maybe two to three months break over the course of May 2019 to 2021 now. So there you go. Yo, smiling. What's Morgana's Rest? Morgana's Rest is a black zone city. There you go. Morgana's Rest. Then you've got Arthur's, Merlin's Rest. And then you've got Arthur's Rest. They're small cities in the black zone that are safe zones. So between the portals, there's the rest. And between the rest, it's your hideouts, depending on how far your hideouts are. Like if you click here, Morgana's Rest is set for this character. Smiling monster. Oh. Don't flex, what do you mean? Should I go gank faction transporters in black and yellow zones? You can't gank in black zones. Oh, blue zones, yellow zones for hearts. Is it a good dismount people? Um, if you plan to do faction, I, faction warfare is pretty fun now because of the update and the points and the fights you get. But um, ganking transports is more worth it in the red zones. You want to try and gank them in the underways, in the tunnels. Because um, even... In red zones, you're gonna not going to come up as the number down here. It's not going to show you because you're faction play. And you ideally want to cut off the tunnels or the routes where they have to go because it's the only uh, map to go to a certain zone. So I think there's a Limhurst to Thetford um, area where there's like, a, no, the Bridgewatch to Limhurst area and there's one or two maps that have routes 
that you have to go through but if you just camp those um you're gonna make profit but just be careful because it can be boring i did it for like three hours and we only caught like two to three people because it depends on the day depends on your timing and depends on peak time stuff like that hey 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 the handsome smiling monster what's up classifier welcome back welcome back oh man where were the chest in black zone called anyway i had so many of those full over big z and then rounded it all up for me brought it to my rows yes exactly um downside is when you do that if it's resources like gathering resources refined resources then it's going to be expensive because uh, they have a really high times multiplier for traveling costs but if it's uh, just gear and equipment um you can recover that but if you try to recover gathering materials and refined materials it's going to be expensive um cool 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 what's oh i'm, I'm by, behind on chat hey i looked at the guide for the first time playing elba nice cool do you buy journals or do you fill them i fill most of them i fill 70 percent and then i buy the 30 percent depending on what i'm crafting or if i'm if i'm crafting for journals then i get quite a lot back if i'm crafting for fame to level stuff then i buy journals smiling what build do you recommend for solo dungeon eight point maps fast clears with uh after the great x nerf crossbow like crossbow bolt casters if you want the build go to my channel check out the uncrowned king build and that will show you the the crossbow builds i'm coming up on my two years nice the game's fun i play it on and off um slowly get album burnout here and there but you see i have a guild tried to bump me on yellow zone in red zone when i was riding my mammoth took me 30 minutes of getting in the group dungeon and got them away yo go t if you get bumped just let them bump you you go to game settings this is for everybody if you're in a yellow zone and they're trying to bump you into red zone, it takes like five seconds. Five seconds. You click on game settings, you got all notifications, and you turn entering red zone off. You click this. You can click the other ones if you want to as well. If you're panicking, just click the first like five. It's normally on the top. But when you press entering red zone, you've always got it to always. So whenever you enter, yeah, you're not going to get the message when you first got the message. You turn that off. As soon as they bump you into the, the portal to the red zone, it's going to give you a message saying, yo, you're about to enter a red zone. Are you sure you want to enter a red zone? So if you're on a mammoth, this happened to me like a couple weeks ago when I was transporting on my mammoth. You just turn it off. Let them push you towards the border and you're not going to go through because you got that notification. So then all you have to do is you get knocked down for three minutes. You get back up, you mount, get away from the portal and press um, no. Don't press always until you're back in the blue zone. Once you're back in the blue zone and you enter the next red zone, you can press always. But that is one of the fastest ways and safest ways. Just turn that notification off and they won't be able to knock you in the red zone. Oh, there's a fight between two users. Nice. What? What do you mean, what, what? Dice 300, gambling, monster, how do you feel about axes change, inspect the jacket bug, the speed clear and axes, main crying hard lately. Yeah, they, they're nerfing quite a lot of things. I don't get the changes that uh, they're implementing, but what can you do? They're changing it the way they want to. Um, I don't like the Great X PVE change. I like the PVP change. It's a well-needed PVP um, change, but the, they just lost its PVE identity. Um, low using upset my bloodlet PVE build. It's getting nerfed. I'm pretty sure it's called Spectre Jacket. Yes, Spectre Jacket is getting nerfed. I had the same thing yesterday. I'm using it and it saved me. Exactly. There you go. Also, monster, what's your thought on tier four poison refined crafting? It makes a shit ton of profit, bro. Um, I craft tier eight poisons. I craft tier four poisons. I craft tier eight healing potions and I craft tier seven resistance potions. If I am crafting potions, if I'm crafting food, I just craft enchanted food and special food like dead water eel stew because the profit on like dead water eel stew and enchanted foods is insane. It's ridiculous. Downside is um, there's a lot of competition and you get undercut a lot and the taxes are high. So you can't keep you can't keep um, changing the, the buy orders. That's brilliant. Smiling. What build? Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Goat. Exactly. Goat McGee, Goaty McGee. You use that, it's gonna save your life. Just anybody that is in chat, you gotta remember that. Yo, Kali, what's up, man? I'm good, I'm good. Smiling, what build do you recommend for solo dungeons, fast clears after great X nerf? Yo, I, um, crossbow. You don't need to type three times. I saw your message. I'm pretty sure I responded. The light crossbow build. If you want the build, go to my YouTube channel, go to the Uncrowned King video. It will teach you all the things you need to know about the crossbow build. What's up, Kali? What's up? What's up? 
Um, let me see. Mansoir. My only problem is I didn't get a lot of alts unless I'm brain dead. I'm pretty sure you can't. You we you can have you can have three characters. Yeah, you can have three. Every account, so every email has three characters. You just make another email. I've got like four to five emails on this game, and I've got um, several characters on each. Most of them don't have premium. I don't use them no more because I've got enough islands. But um, I've made three emails. Three characters each, so nine characters total, and I've just bought islands and stuff, like guild islands and player islands. So, just make another email account. Can I farm premium with three-day free premium? The game gives you. If yes, how? Yes. Yes, sure, you can. All you do is you do PvP or PvE corrupted dungeons. If you're good at PvPing, you get more profit. If you just want to speed clear the PvE side, which is just going for the bosses and the chests, then you do that. And within three days, as long as you're playing like a couple hours, like two to three, four hours each day, you'll get enough silver. You get eight more silver for the premium. Oh shit, you just opened my third eye. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Um, Kali's got eight emails with three characters each. He's got like 20 plus something. 21, if you do that maths. If I did, no, 24? 24, yeah, 24. Yeah, three times eight is 24. I'm still, uh, still waking up. The Indian isn't fully out yet. The fully masked Indian. Yeah. Refining or crafting smiling for consistent profit. Refining. Refining, it's easier to get up since there's only five nodes. You can use learning points and focus on refining. And um, refining enchanted resources will give you good profit. For crafting, you need to get a spec for crafting. You need to get a spec for refining too. But refining is easier to spec up than crafting and for crafting you have to get artifact spec up and artifact spec up takes a long time to get up because artifacts can be expensive due to meta shifts and especially the avalonian and tier 3 artifacts they're hard to get a hold of so if you're starting out make a refining character because it will start generating you profit then if you want to specialize in a crafting you make an alt character with the profit from the refining character to uh, do make a crafting character and then if you're doing both refining and crafting, you want to invest in laborers because they give you refined resources. 24. I've been in Tier 8 Fletcher's 120%. If it's worth it, um, I would do the 150%, Mohammed. Downgrade to Tier 7 books. You can do Tier 8 because you have Tier 8 Fletcher's, Tier 8 Houses, Tier 8 books. But um, I just prefer to get 150% for the extra resource return rate. And since you max the happiness, you're guaranteed uh, the resources, like the better resources. But if you want to crop Terry, just uh, continue doing Terry. So what is it? Lim? Lim, I'll show you my, I'll show you my net worth. Can you do another bonus? Yeah, I'll give you guys a boost. Bonus. There you go. Can you suggest which resource to start refining with? Any of the resources works, bro. Any of the five resources, you just pick one, you stick to it, and it'll make you profit. Okay, so uh, I, I guess I have to turn off my webcam here. I turn off my webcam. So there's four mil in this chest. Crafting, I've got 110 mil here. Herbs, 77 mil. So that's what, 280, 280. So three, 400, 400 mil in loot and gear. Then I've got um, 600 mil, so one bill right there. If you take all, all of that into consideration, I've got one bill. That's my net worth in like assets that I have right now. And then assets that I've liquidated, which I'm saving. I'm going to go show you. Uh, this is mainly for anybody who's wondering what my net worth is. Because uh, Lim was asking. Let me show you. Now we go here. I probably have others other wares, but this is the latest one. Bang. Uh, 1.62 bill. So a total of 2.6 billion is my current net worth. My total net worth is 2.6 billion. There you go. That is the net worth for um, Lim. Watch the clip smiling. Come on. Maybe later, bro. Maybe later. Grinding. Hide first. We'll get you some levels in weapons and gear. Yeah. If you want to get fame while you do it, then hide's the way to go. If you just want to refine, then you pick any of the other ones. 
Um, cloth is good and stone is good from my recent knowledge. What I did, found on the display capture game, mate. There you go. Um, but what about tier 7 rocks? Those are weird, they don't seem to profit even with focus. Yeah, you have to calculate that, Muhammad. You have to calculate that shit. Yeah, you got you, you you definitely have to calculate that shit. Yeah, that alone is almost three times my net worth of a year of playing. Yeah, but the thing is, Lim, the first year of playing, you set up your net worth, if you understand what I mean. You set up the systems to get the net worth. Then the next year of playing is you making profit. So that's gonna like the first year is like this. The next year is like this, and then the third year is just like this, because you know what you're doing. That's how it was for me. I was like this. I was like this. I was going up and down, up and down because I didn't know what I was doing. Then I went like this slowly because I started implementing laborers, started doing refining, started making old characters. This is the end of the second year and starting at the beginning. Um, no, this is the end of the near the end of the second year. And then at the start of the second year, near the end of the first year, at the start of the second year, it just went like this. Smile it into a 50 second clip. Yes. But I'm, I don't really watch the clips. I'll see. I'll see you in a second, Mist. Can you give me 8 mil? No, I cannot. I don't give out um, silver or gold for free. Unless it's a giveaway, then you have a chance to win in the giveaway. Make that four times. Will tell me be enough to invest? I'm starting from zero and refining for a particular batch. Mainly, don't um, invest money unless it's a 25% fame boost. But um, just use your focus and learning points to level up the, the refining tree. It's over two times my net worth. So you're on one bill roughly right now, Kali? Of me, Timo, and some other guys clapping a zerg. I'll watch it. What's up, man? Yo, Anton. What's up? What's up? You need a lots of cloth and stone if you want to build islands cheaply. Yes. Not not cloth for islands, obviously. Cloth is for gear. Yeah. But um, stone is used for the city stores. And stone is used for... I don't need... Okay, I do need... Stone is used for the city stores. And stone is used for... Um, buildings. Any type of building, basically. Hercules, go. Hold tight. I've been playing for just over six months. Well, you've made a bill in six months, so you're doing really good. My first six months, I was nowhere near the bill. I barely had 100 mil my first six months. Because I was playing wishy-washy. And then I was like, you know what? I'm getting bored of having to grind silver. I'm just going to set up a labor empire. And it was one of the best decisions of my life. Because it, it started giving me a lot of profit. Um, it's big true. I'm not about 10 mil now in my second year and I've 30 30 liquidated tier 7 assets Exactly Yeah, I never used to have above 10 mil for the first what four months five six months of gameplay However, you guys got to remember yeah, this was before corrupted dungeons. This was before Avalonian raids This was before fame credits. This was before arenas. This was when the game was hardcore This is what I'm talking about. There was no random group dungeons. There was no solo group dungeons there was no fame boost to open world mobs. There was no silver increase. There was no infamy system. That's when I started playing. I started playing when this game was bare bones and it just had the basic systems and the black zone was completely different. I barely went above 10 mil in my first four months of gameplay. I had no way near 10 mil. I was happy if I had one or two mil. But now the game has changed where you guys can make so much silver if you use my how to make bank videos you do corrupted dungeons even if it's like half an hour a day you're gonna make a lot of profit and the game has changed so much since i started playing i started playing bare bones you guys have so many features like faction flagging hell gates reworks chests random dungeons corrupted dungeons you got all of that to build on your silverware so right now it is a lot easier to make silver it was what was back then and I've tried to give you guides, the most guides, on the methods that will help you make silver. But yeah, right now, Corrupted Dungeons, one of the best ways to make silver. I'm almost one bill worth, so it's insane that you're worth two bill. I made smart investment choices. What are you going to plan for the stream? So the stream is money making. I do my daily money making, so you guys can ask me questions, you can see what I'm doing. You can learn from the daily money making then we move on to either pvp or pve i'm thinking of doing some pvp today if i don't have to end stream early 
we'll do some maybe corrupted dungeons or we'll do some um road skanking or maybe some faction flagging we don't know we'll see we'll see how to make money i'm not really good at pvp do the pve side of corrupted dungeons right corrupted dungeons take a speed clearing build go for the bosses go for the large pack of mobs go for the chests easy profit um i want to crown check with you personally man you're my teacher now i have 15 mil in nine months if i only have access to one character if i have premium what should i focus on using my island on um it depends what you're using your focus on first of all but if you're using your focus on potions then use your island to plant crops if you focus on cooking use your island to plant um herbs and i mean herbs herbs for potions crops for cooking if you don't cook or um, potions then i would just uh, plant herbs or crops harvest the seeds sell them and then use that money to either refine or craft because you need to invest that focus focus is free money every day if you let your focus sit at thirty thousand, or you don't use your focus you're wasting money that's the best tip I can give you. Focus is free money every day, so try and get premium. Uh, everything I know, Smiling knows, and he knows more than me. Well, I think people specialize in certain fields of knowledge. So mine's mainly been PVEing and money making, different types, etc. But other people might have their own little secrets or stuff they developed over time. Uh, oh shit. Bro, I've been playing for a year, almost two years. Just yesterday, I hit one silver. I think I'm doing it wrong. One mil silver? That's why, if you have a problem with making money, just go watch my How to Make Bank videos. Go click on my YouTube channel, open it up in another tab, click on the tab playlist, go to How to Make Bank, and watch it after the stream. I just started playing Albion. Does making your own guild and having your own guild island a must? And what is a guild island? So you don't need to make your own guild island because they nerf the benefits of having your guild island. But it's a good way to keep track of all your characters or your alts if you plan to have alts. Guild islands. So basically, this is a player island. It's uh, You get farm plots and you get building plots on a player island. If you go to a guild island, a guild island, you don't get any um, farm plots. You get a lot more housing plots. And the thing you get access to is a guild chest. So a guild chest has more space because you can access this, go to manage, and you buy a guild tab. And a guild tab gives you a lot of space. So a guild island is good for storing all your equipment and weapons and armor and herbs and whatever you have in Albion in the guild bank tab. And then you can just give access to your alts. So you just give access to your alts. And that's a good way to share your um, loot and your equipment with your alts. So you don't have to limit it in a chest. Because normally if you click chests, um, see I haven't set up the access right. So I can't access whatever was in that, um, that chest. So a guild island costs like 100k silver, less than 100k silver because you've got a global discount right now. And I think it's a really good, um, yeah, it, it, it's actually really good. I would say it is really good. It's well worth um, investing in a guild island if you have alts and you just want an extra bank space to share between alts. If you don't have alts, then just having a normal, like, um, the bank in the Royal Cities will do. That's the way to make 2.6 bill. Very impressive. The labor, the bare bones. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm giving you the basics. You got to research yourself. You got to grind yourself. You got to invest properly in yourself. I've made investments where I've lost 100 mil silver, but then I've made investments where it's turned up to like 200 mil silver. The grind. The grind is the main thing. I'm two years in with um, six to eight months off spread out here, and I've only been buying premium silver once. I bought six months now. It finishes today. Go T. Right crop to dungeons, you get your premium. Kali unsubscribed. Um, who's talking to Kali? Yeah, but what did you do? Like PvE stuff, Avalonians. Okay, you're asking Kali. It wasn't doing blah, blah, blah. I've tried your bow build for a while now, and it's really enjoying it. It's really fun. I love it too, Anton. It's fun, bro. It's fun. And it's it's a nice mix. Like, you can kite, you can chase, you can um, go insane burst. You just got to be wary of purges. If you gank, mind if I party up with you. Yeah, if we go ganking, we can um, form a party with chat. If we go corrupted, it'll be solo. So, you know, if we go factions, we can do... Ch it depends on the activity. We'll see what happens when we get there. I'm just using focus on Goron Carrots right now. Bonefire Gamer. Do not use your focus on watering plants, herbs, or crops. I mean, animals. You want to invest your focus in cooking, crafting, potions, or refining. 
the reason you do that is if you look here right so if you invest in carrots carrots here carrots give you bonus to carrots but nothing else but if you invest it in crafting cooking refining or um, potions it gives you a bonus to whatever you're doing plus an extra small bonus to the other ones in that tree so if you plan to play this game for a long time you want to go those four if you don't plan to play this game for a long time and you're just doing it for right now then you can use your focus on carrots but it's more effective later on the more you progress to do cooking crafting refining or potions if i was going to uni i mostly have a lot of pve and refining nobody better try to ball build if you gank yep i'm whoa my biggest suggestion to new players is like crossbow run corrupted dungeons but you can afford a tier 4 guild island there you go smiling all i know is silver making and pvp but you are literally just better version of me don't say that man you're pretty cool too you got 24 accounts and you manage it and you know what you're doing so don't you you know what you're doing too don't worry the guild hall is insane for laborers yes guild halls if, if you invest in laborers go the guild hall guild island route because it is more cost effective and it speeds up your crafting time points points can you explain the global discount and fame weeks yeah so if you click here i buy a seed right now there's a global discount of 6.7 um, percent the global discount works in correlation to um, gold prices so when the gold price hits 3000 um, silver per a gold the global discount disappears and when it's below 3000 silver per gold you get global discount and global discount is just for um giving um a benefit when the gold is below the, the price it's set to and you can use it to buy it gives you a discount on all taxes basically any tax you get a global discount looking forward to cook i should have only used refining no no refining crafting cooking or potions um wait smiling i want to do investments other than skins what have i done a few but i don't know what's good investment for making massive profit do you have any suggestions so one of the investments i do it is a bit risky but it's the nda play tests so um if you know a weapon's going to get buffed or it's going to get nerfed right as soon as you read the playtest, like every day you should just quickly skim over the NDA in case they change something. When they do change something, if it's a good change, you want to buy the artifact for that weapon or you want to buy the weapon outright. You keep it till the change hits, then you sell it. It makes a good 10-20%, even more depending on how much you stockpile. And if you craft that um, item yourself, you're going to make more profit because you're pumping focus into it, right? But if they nerf it, you're going to make a loss. So to get rid of that loss, you sell all the items. So when they nerfed, um, what was it, Galatine pair, I had like 10, 20 Galatine pairs. I sold them. I saved 1 million because they went down by 10, 20%. So each one, I'm, I saved like 50 to 100K. So you can save money. You can make money like that is by saving before it crashes. But another good investment is, um, so the NDA is another is an investment opportunity. Then artifacts are a good investment depending on the meta shift. Then another investment is skins, referral skins, mount skins, like mainly just cosmetics. Cause, cause limited cosmetics, the prices will always go up, but you need to keep it in your, um, your vault, your bank for a long time. Legit managing eight accounts isn't really that bad man, especially when you have four of them with food, crafting, refining. I mean, the only really time you use them once a day, three times a day, other than that for the focus. Yeah, I understand, but, um, I'm kind of getting burned out of like the multiple character thing. That's why I've, I've limited it down to five. Before it was more kind of like six, seven, maybe even nine at one point. But now I've, I've just done it to five because I think that's all I need. One potions and food crafter, my main. Then one refiner in case I'm lacking resources for my three other crafters. And the three other crafters just do the, the Fletcher crafting. Oh man, let me give you guys a bonus again. Bonus. Bang. There you go. Everybody's going to get bonus points. And I'm going to dice that much. If I get anything. Cool, cool. Um, we're out of... I'm a tier 6 fisherman, but now I only have to go out of the black zones. I have been ganked. Fishing and ganking go hand in hand. Because they know you're a juicy prey. Especially if you've been out fishing for a long time. They're just going to make money off you, so they're just going to try and gank you. Best time I would recommend is after or before maintenance. 
Because that's when the population goes down a bit. And like, you have like 10-15 minute opportunity window before and after maintenance. Oh man, I lost 10k. Ganked four times in a row. That's the that's the game, bro. Like it's a full loot PvP game. So especially if you're a gatherer, gatherers are just easy profit. Gatherers, fishers, transporters, etc. There you go. So that's one island done, one character done. We have four more, three more to go. What's and after maintenance? So the game goes down every time at 10 UTC, and that is considered maintenance. So 10 UTC to 11 UTC is generally maintenance time. And um, after maintenance, the game gets rebooted. And since a lot of people aren't paying attention, not a lot of people log into the game. So you, you get that time to play the game. And uh, since the server reset, the loot, the black market, the spawns, everything resets. So you have a higher chance to get the good to resources. I'm on a 50 ping at the moment, so I'm just going to watch the streams. Hey, man, um, my ping's been spiking. It's not as bad as the last couple of days, but yeah, it's, it's been spiking too. I think it's the game side. Um, I fish Tyrit fish to seven Tyrit fishing gear, seven rares and visibility potions to keep food to switch and ganked. I never take my eyes off the screen. You just need to keep an eye out. Yes, that's oh yeah, that's the holy potato from two kids. So if you're fishing, you should actively fish. You shouldn't passively fish. The only way you passively fish is if you have a territory or a um, hideout next to a fishing water source, and you're doing it not the the fishing pool way. You're just fishing it for um, while watching Netflix or something like that. I have decent profit crafting capes and selling it in Carleon. Is it worth to continue gathering the materials for capes or buy the resources? If you have high gathering, then yes. If you have low gathering, then if you invest the same amount of time just doing crafted dungeons, you get more profit so you can buy more materials. And with the more materials, you're getting more profit, more fame, and more crafting specialization. So it depends on what your gathering tier is right now. Also, yeah, as Gold T suggested, sounds also help. You can hear somebody sprinting, you can hear somebody dismounting, you can hear somebody using a skill to go in viz. So if you hear like the ksh, like sound effect for whatever um, one I just mentioned, you mount up straight away. Even if you misheard, you mount up, you wait a couple of seconds or you just move. So they can't target you with their skills. I have a lot of those fishing items that where it's I usually groups waiting for me on my way back to Fort Sterling. I used armored horses, but my group could... do not use armored horses. You need a better horse than you need a better mount than an armored horse. You want either a fast mount or a mount that doesn't lose gallop speed. So um, spectral diabores, grizzlies, um, giant horses, swift claws, black panthers. If you go Swift Claws and Black Pan Panthers, they're faster mounts, so you need a better bag. If you go Carry Weight mounts, you don't need that much of a bag. But um, lizards like Salamanders, like the one Kali gave me yesterday, no, um, the day before yesterday, it has 103% gallop speed and 103% movement speed. So it's always moving. If Even if you get tagged by mobs, you're okay. Frost Ram 2. Frost Ram, Husky, um, the, the Donkey as well, it's pretty good. What would you say would be a good build for speed clearing dungeons right now bonfire it's the crossbow build if you want a full in-depth guide about the crossbow build you just go to my channel you go to the uncrowned king of speed clearing which is probably going to be the king of speed clearing now and you watch that video and it'll tell you exactly what you need to know about speed clearing solo dungeons oh a limb got shot straight in the skull by one of the goblin archers once they made it outside the cave. Feels bad, man. CDs seem pretty jack right now. I don't know what build anymore. It's the meta shift. The meta is shifting right now because of the recent patch. Like, everybody's trying to figure out what they should and what they shouldn't uh, be building. But, um... Spectre Hood, Mercenary Jacket. 
It's the combo, bro. It's the combo. Long term is better together since you have more stuff to do later. Get into a leather gatherer was a nightmare. I feel you, bro. I feel you. I picked skinning as my first gathering and if you don't have a black zone presence or you don't have like a group together with, um, it's going to be bad for you. Bostram has a two second gallop. Iframe gives you passive carry weight. <laughs> and has the same speed as a swift claw. I don't know what that happened there. I was going to say swift claw and then I would just went, huh, huh, huh. One handed mace with night armor is the best build now, just saying. I can get you anywhere. Is it? I'm pretty sure there's other movement skills that are better. But it's still, still fairly decent. Let's go. Demon and Merc with demon boots. Yeah, demon boots on dead cape, another combo. Yeah, if you want to gather efficiently and make profit, getting to a black zone guild with a good hideout and a good alliance and good protection is the way to go. Most black zone guilds have a um, gathering tax, which is like 5-10% or whatever you gather. But um, you think of it this way. You pay them 5% or whatever you gather and you'll be gathering 5-10 to 10 times more than you'd be gathering without their help. So you, in the end, you'll be making more profit anyway. Okay then, I'm gonna go, gonna go play a game. See ya, bro. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully I answered your question. Good luck with your um, total net worth. Oh yeah, wait, Lim. What was uh, Swole's, uh, what was Swole's net worth? And when did he start? Yeah, a lot of guilds have quarters for ZVZs, mandatory CTAs, etc. What's the command for the mini gaze? Run. If you click on the, the stream description, if you scroll down a bit, it will give you a list of all the commands for the, the chat. So there's quest, there's FFA, there's boss, there's a duel, there's coin, there's gamble, there's slots, there's a bonus, but bonus is normally what I use to give you guys points. Okay, smiling big boy, give me that rap build. I try for the first time. So Benji started playing it a year ago. What was his net worth? You know? Um, yo, the rat build. Um, there's the crossbow rat build, but I go the bear paws rat build. The bear paws rat build is bear paws, druid robe, um, soldier boots, and coatist cow, along with a thetford cape. There is no gamble. Did you remove it? No, there is a gamble. There's definitely a gamble. Is the bot acting slow? Oh yeah, the bot's working. Uh, I rolled the dice, but the gam hey, gamble's not working. Try do again. Not even in the list. Gamble mini game. Everybody. There you go. There you go. Gambling. Gamble is working. It's mainly dice and um, slots, if I remember correctly. I, I, 
I think curse matter. Well, with the guardian helmet change, um, not many people might not be running guardian helmets due to under forty percent, above forty percent. But curse matter might come back. Yeah. I know he's worth up to four hundred mil. Not bad. Not bad. I'd say I did okay for how long I've been playing. If I had the knowledge beforehand, if I played close beta, then I would be a lot richer than I am now. But I'm happy at where I am at. I don't have that much money where people bother me. I have enough to for uh, my play, like my lifetime of the game. If I stop making money right now, if I stop doing my dailies, I can c currently enjoy the game for a good what, six months before I have to worry about silver. What skills on bear paws? Oh fuck, they changed the AoE Q in it. Go for the, the forward Q. Q3, they changed the adrenaline rush too, fuck. Um, third Q, ray aging blades, or you can go adrenaline rush if you're gonna use it before after you hit a mob. Then E, soldier boots. So you basically do your combo soldier boots to the next mob, uh, uh, mob pack or boss. And then you just repeat that process. But it would have been nice to not have a broken account when I first started. What do you mean you had a broken account? What do you mean by that, Kali? How, how did you get a broken account? Broken account? That's interesting. That is interesting. Shit, I don't have to Q3. Q2. Q2 was the thing, but now you have to make sure you're hitting the mobs. You can't stand on top of the mobs. You've got to stand um, in the radius, in the circle. Because if you don't, you're not going to get the rending bleed stacks. And the rending bleed stacks are one of the best things about axes. But then they nerf the healing reduction and they nerf the damage of the Qs. So, you know, changes, nerfs, nerfs all around. I had shit loot and I couldn't buy anything. I couldn't ac couldn't access. What the? Oh snap! Ron stunned amigo. Managed to sneak into the goblin caves without anybody noticing and stole some of the treasure. Nice. The W adrenaline rush or raging blades. Adrenaline rush if you plan to hit mobs and kite them and raging blades if you just want the AoE damage Like I couldn't buy oh, yeah, Kali there's a there's a um, there's a cap when you make a new account You have to be playing for a certain amount of time you have to do an activity or you have to let I, I, I can't remember what it was, but you have to activate your account somehow because they didn't want all the gold farmers and bots to make new characters buy gold or sell gold or trade gold if I remember correctly so I think there was a cap and you had to do something to activate the cap like you had to play for a certain amount of hours or you had to finish the quest or you had to do something else now I had to get support to fix my account interesting I don't know bro Unlucky though. Yeah, unlucky. I had that on my second account. My first account was okay. The second email that I used to make an account had that problem. And then the third was also okay. So, it, it's situational. It does suck though. It does suck. Uh, for the list of commands, SKN, check the check the stream description. It's starting to do your last name? Ah, huh? That makes no sense. A fiend won 200 guild points.
Why are you doing tier 5? Tier 8 poisons require tier 8, tier 7 and tier 5. So I plant and get the herbs myself and then I buy the rest of the things to craft the tier 8 poisons. <laughs> 9 plus 9 I ended up having to show them the code that was breaking it like I literally had to solve it myself <laughs> oh, Wow Interesting bro interesting. How can you find motivation to do other islands every day? I'm like on the edge of insanity when they're doing daily. Yeah, bro. I'm on the edge of insanity every day, but I do them every day because I'm that bit crazy. Um, it's just a routine. You stick to that routine. You do it for a month. It turns into two months. You do it for two months. It just turns into your daily routine. You do your daily routine. It's going to make you profit. Even if it doesn't make you the best profit, I do it because I get the daily bonus. The daily bonus gets me the chests. Two islands on one character gets you a daily bonus. Those islands give me herbs for crafting. They give me daily chests. I mean, the daily bonus chests, which have a chance of getting a focus potion. And that focus potion is profit. So there's like little benefits of doing it every day. Is it profitable to sell your laborers or level them up to max? You can make contracts and you can sell your laborers. You can also rent them out. Renting them out is a new big thing. I sent them two emails after giving them the week to fix it. They were telling me they were working on it and I had to wait over another week. They didn't do anything. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. So I decided to do it myself the day after I sent the code to fix it. What was the what was the code? As in like um you said it was a name bug, so was it not registering your name or not registering your account's name to something? And the day after I sent the code it was fixed. Nice. Good shit, well, good shit. How does renting them work? You go on like a Discord, or you go on the forums, and you basically, um, you rent out your island and your laborers. So you give somebody access to the island and then to the laborers for a week, and they pay you a flat sum. So I think it's 250k to 500k, depending on the island and what you're renting. If you're renting farms, it's like 250k. If you're renting farms and houses, it's like 500k. If you rent the whole island, it's 500k. It depends on who you're dealing with, basically. What food though? Beef stew? No, um, health food, bro. Health food. So you don't have to worry about health. And then you take omelets, and then you take. Uh, so for PVE, you got tier four poisons and health food. And for um, PvP, you take omelette, so your skills are on cooldown. And you take um, healing potion or resistance potion. When you get into PvP, you switch your druid drop to frost shield. You switch your cultist drop to knockback. And um, since they nerfed adrenaline boost, I'm not sure what on the W anymore. But preferably movement speed so adrenaline boost when you narrow mob attack the mob use it to run away so my last name had an apostrophe and I had to show them how to fix that broken ass profile system <laughs> wow wow well learn something new every day was it the old yeah i'm guessing it's the old albion team because a new team been bought out by Oh shit, thank you for subscribing to the channel, Mo LOL. Welcome, my man, welcome. Cool. I said Mo subscribed four hours ago. Why am I getting a notification now? What the? There, there is cooldowns on the commands because then you can't just spam it and make a lot of points. But I needed to limit the cooldowns. You gotta do quest and then a number of how much you want to spend on the quest. Now nah, that thing was only two and a half months ago. Uh, Sixteen likes, only with twenty-seven watching. Come on, guys, hit that like button.
Uh, I don't know if the new team, as in the new owners, bought it out by then, or was it the old team? I can't remember. But as long as you got it sorted, you're good, bro. Cool. Moving on to our last uh, character for farming. And then we start with laborers, crafting, and cooking. Someone hit dislike, probably someone you beat or ganked in CD. Or somebody who doesn't like me um, exposing their money making secrets. There's people like that too. Like if I make a guide and it's something that they're doing to make money on, they hit dislike because I'm letting their method be known to other people. Get on. Yeah, it was directly after Stillfront bought the game. Interesting. Well, they're a mobile company, so well, if it's after, they don't know the code. I don't know, man. But glad you got it sorted out. Yo, let me give you guys a bonus. Bang. Oh, so this is our last character for the island pop. Well, this this part of the mouth is getting a bit tired from talking. I, I'm not really much of a talker, guys, but um, it's nice explaining things and talking to you guys about gaming and Albion in general. Because I'm, I'm more of a quiet person, I tend to stick to myself. But um, if I have knowledge of something, and somebody asks me a question, I like to help them out. I think it was the still front team that fixed it in the end. Well, that's a good sign. That means the new team is actually doing something. Downside is, uh, the, the changes made... <laughs> oh, never mind. Is there a Weaver owner for a Limest in here? If there is, hook me up, bro. If there is, I need that hookup. The still front team actually responded. Nice. That's a good sign. Prior to that, I didn't get a response from the, the sandbox team. From the game. Gotta make them beds, gotta try farming yellow zones, tier 5. Probably because I'm not relevant. Yeah, you need to be um, somebody from, what, the Kalyan Cartel, one of the big guild leaders, or somebody that's influential like a streamer or a YouTuber, but that has a decent following. Or um, a well-known character, maybe. I don't know, something like that. That's like most games, isn't it? If you have, um, if you have a presence, then you get priority jump, right? Speaking on that note, any of you guys um, interested in cryptocurrency? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Like I've recently been looking into cryptocurrency, right? and because of the spike because of the like cryptocurrency all cryptocurrency has spiked since january by like a thousand percent some even six thousand some even fourteen thousand so i'm looking into crypto for investing but you know cryptocurrency is more volatile than stock markets and normal investment schemes so like i don't have a lot of money but i'd rather not let the money that i do have sit on the side and rot in real life i'd rather invest it and make like get even if it's a little bit, get something in return, if you know what I mean. So I've been looking into stocks, I've been looking into crypto, but um, I'm, I'm still I'm still researching and learning. So you can check Discord if the build's okay. Yeah, give me one sec, bro. You send me... Oh, no, it's in public chat, right? I'll be on chat. Um, this is for PvP, two kids. That's a PvP build? 
If you just want to PvE and you run away from the PvP fights, switch the Spectre Hood for Cultist Cow, switch the Mercenary Jacket for Drudro. But if you're on the PvP, then that is the build. That is the build for PvP and PvE. But if you want speed coding PvE, do the thing that I just told you. I like crypto. If you want to make side um, bank, hit me up in Discord. Yeah, I do. Like legit. That's that's why I'm looking into crypto. Like I'm looking into um, certain coins to invest in. Like I'm still learning all the terms, right? I'm learning like staking, like trading, spot trading, fiat currency, um, dual link buying, all of that stuff. DeFi. Um, I know nothing about crypto. I've recently started um, taking an interest in it. But if you've got um, like some videos that you can link or you have knowledge that you can share, I'd be much appreciated, Carly. But I think um, so. I read crypto. I've read up on blockchain. I know what a blockchain is. So the only way that crypto is going to be out of um, like out of the world forever is if everybody like there's no computers. So there's no blockchain or there's no Internet. So there's no um, access to crypto. But if that happens, the world's already in a shit place. So you wouldn't have to be worrying about it is one of the posts that I saw. Damn, I wasted 200 can Spectre. No, that's the PvP build. That's the build if you want to survive. That's the build you want to use. But it's not that fast in speed clearing. I've messed with small investments. Makes sense. Since I was 18. Oh, nice. So how long has it been? You're pro you've probably been investing since January, right? So you've been in the, the like... A thousand percent increase. By the way, I've never played bed pause. Are they easy to PvP? Yes, with the change, make make make, make sure you hit your E on the opponent. Gives it a forty percent cooldown, so you can just use it to engage and then run away. But the adrenaline boost change makes it a little bit harder to like use your mobility. So what you want to do is you want to use your sprint to engage and then use your adrenaline boost with the auto attack to disengage. One year. So yeah, that's that's a good time. Wait, you're only 19? What the fuck? No way. You, you're too smart or like too mature for a 19 year old from like my, from interacting with you and talking with you. You've got a wife and kids already though, no? That's crazy, bro. I can't imagine like being a parent at 19. Oof. Good on you, bro. <laughs> Whoa. You are way more like advanced in your mentality and field. So for PvP, first Q, second W, and deep cuts. Yes. I'm really not. Well, I think you are. Nah, fan, you're not mature. <laughs> Wait, a wife and kid at 19 must be hard. Yeah, I do being a dad at 18 and got it into it at 19. It's not smart. But um, the thing is, you've stuck with your wife and you're looking after your kid, right? Most people at that age would, wouldn't be exactly doing that. But I think that's a good mature decision that you've made. Well, let's not use mature, but that's a, that's a nice decision. You. Um, wish me luck. Good luck to kids. You're going to get insane profit. Mm, yep, so now we deposit our herbs and then go into the refining. For PvE, which hood should I get? Depends what type of PvE. Corrupted PvE or solo PvE? Yeah, you, you took responsibility. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, most people... Yeah, you have to take on, but you accepted it. Most people wouldn't. Most people would run away. Solo dungeons... Uh, scholar hood. I mean, scholar scholar cow is good. Then cultist cow is good. Stalker helm is good. Spectre hood is good. Yeah, those are the ones that you want to use. Most builds are good with them. See, that's that's nice. I did the same thing for my wife. It's like. Till death do you part, basically, for marriage. That's what I said, and that's... I don't plan to break that. Looking to save 
Well, hopefully you, your wife and your kid have a good life. And when I get a kid, hopefully my kid has a good life too. But right now, let's just uh, let's just enjoy the new married honeymoon type phrase. Marriage life is in happy and great. A lot of people don't see it like that. Yeah, most people don't. Most people like uh, like the younger generation, they don't see like married life like the older generation. Which is like you get, well, I'm not going to go into it, but basically you get a life partner and it's nice just to have someone there with you for the life journey. Now it's just like a one night stands and like uh, being in a relationship for four months and you get bored. So you switch stuff like that. And, you know, that that's not appealing to me. Uh, oh, man, is that too much? That is too much, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's way too much. I need more of these, though. I need more. I'll take all of those. Pick all of those. Dang. Um, I need a pie. Pie. Tier seven. Tier seven pie. What's that? Cool. I love that you did that too. Did what? Oh, I respect that you your decision to make that dedication. It's very rare you see people make that dedication and stick to it these days. It's very sad. So, um, it's it's a cultural thing as well, right? Like, um, like Asian culture is different to most uh, culture nowadays. Where, like, um, especially Indians, right? Because Indians, I've hardly seen Indians get divorced. If they get divorced, it's for like a really serious reason. But normally. Um, most Asian families, if you get married, it's pretty much till death do you part because um, you make it work. You make it work. Whereas in nowadays, people don't want to make it work. Right now, they just want instant comfort, which is like, oh, I'm not getting what I want, so I'm just going to divorce and like, um, you know, like not do this no more type thing. <clears throat> 14, 16. I see people that are called adults get married and not and not even two years divorced. It, it depends on the type of I don't know how to explain it, but people are different, man. You, you don't know what's going in somebody's head. You think they're doing OK and then they're not. And you think they're a good person. It turns out they're shitty. Life's life. People are people. So, you know, my wife and I've been married for seven years. We have a kid now and we've got uh, we have two with no money problems living off. Nice goatee. Hopefully I get there soon. Hopefully. Well, not hopefully. Give me two years. My YouTube channel is going to be good. Um, I'm going to make enough income to support my wife. And then after two years, I'm going to slowly get that increase. And when I get that increase, it's going to it's going to be uphill from there. I'm going to make this YouTube thing happen. Streaming, gaming, YouTube. That's the plan. I plan to I plan to make it just go like this from now. on. So any support is much appreciated. It's the American, yeah. Well, it's it's like the Western culture, right? The Western culture has changed with the new generation, and the Asian culture is different because it still has bits of the old culture, and it's mixing the new and old culture. Not all the old culture is good, though. Like um, caste marriage, um, caste system marriages, then arranged marriages, then selling off your daughter and sons. That's more available in the Asian side. So. The West has bad sides, the um, East has bad sides, West has good sides, East has good sides. It's um, it's a mix, like it's your perspective on how you see it and how you as an individual react to that situation. It depends on, yeah, it just depends on the individual is what I'm trying to say. Come to Texas, we are still wise down here. I think you're doing great. You too, man. Thank you. There are people I look up to and I've seen their marriage last less than two years. And I'm like, why do why you get married if you don't plan to be with them? Exactly. It's, I don't know, like marriage, the vows are till death do you part. So that means you through thick and thin, this is the person you want by your side when you are in thick or thin. And if they plan to do the same thing with you, then it's a it's joyous occasion. Some people just want to be with you when you're at your high peak 
they don't want to help you when you're at your low peak to come back to the high peak they leave you at your low peak so you fall even lower you know it's it's how i don't know how to say this but it depends on person to person and it also depends on the environment you've grown up in because if you see a lot of people just get married and divorce and marriage and divorce or like get into relationships two months later find another relationship then you're going to be like oh that's the norm i can do that too stuff like that you get the idea it depends on your environment your mentality who you are etc but um yep i told my wife till death to us part that's if i it's, it's like a promise like i promise you this i'm sticking to that promise because i normally don't promise a lot of things if somebody's like yo promise me you do this i was like uh no because i don't know how to say it but if my promises hold weight if you understand what that means like it's not like, oh yeah, I'll do it. I promise you I'll do it. I was like, oh yeah, I promise you I'll do that Monday. No, I don't do it like that. If I say, um, I promise you this, that means I promise you this and I'm backing it with like my whole being. Like I don't, I don't promise and I don't like make the like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah type jokes like that. Like, um, if I say something, I mean that something. Yeah, exactly. Like promises mean action exactly it should mean that this you know if i promise you something that that statement is true that like if i say i promise you i will be there at 3 p.m on sunday then you know that i'm gonna be there at 3 p.m on sunday it's not like yeah i'll be there don't worry 3 p.m sunday yeah it's okay i'll promise i'll promise like that no that's that's a different like if i say bang i mean i mean bang i'm not like the, the other ones that you you get the idea what i'm trying to say I made the, I believe they made the mistake of getting married too early. Yeah, see that's another thing. You um get it, it it's I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I understand what you mean. I believe they shouldn't get married until they've known each other for at least a year. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Uh we've been married for 15 years now in August and yeah, it's literally just getting over shit. Basically, yeah. My dad beat my mom when I was in the womb and was chased out of town by my uncles to have never seen or heard from him again. The upbringing makes the man. It's your environment, your mentality, your surroundings, and your upbringing, basically, is what I've learned from from my life and from, like, watching videos, listening to books, reading, all of that. You get the idea. Like, your general environment and your upbringing. Cool. What's one character done? I think we made 2.6 mil just then. If you were paying attention down here to the, to the estimate market value. Gotta drink that water, bro. Gotta drink that water. Um, I think that's right. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, because my mic's right here and it's blocking the keyboard. What do you mean? An error has occurred? No. Alright, let's relaunch the game. Uh, my hey, is it a question I've been playing for a few weeks? What do you use for 1.4 or lower tier gear for PvPing? It is what it is. Is it cheaper or do you aim for an average IP? Um, try and aim for an average of a thousand IP. A thousand IP is a good beginning threshold to hit for most activities. So try and aim for a thousand IP. There are only a few things that break my promises. For one, I break promises to make sure my partner is right. And two, if I'm physically can't make it like, like my real life problem restrict me from doing things. Yeah, exactly. If I break a promise, it's like because it was out of my control type thing. Oh yeah. Muslims are fasting, innit? I forgot about that. When did it start? Wait. It's not Ramadan. It's not Ramadan. Why are you fasting, my head? Man, I got my first kill playing after four months. Nice. You gotta bank that loot and sell it. Twenty oh. to April. It is Ramadan. No way. Ramadan. Oh shit, 12th of April to 12th of May was Ramadan?
Less than a week left. Yeah, you got till 12th of May, right? Yeah, so four days? Well, normally my Muslim friends tell me in it, but since uh, the COVID and we haven't been seeing each other due to work and real life and all that, I I've lost track of time. But I did know, um, well, what was it? Friday, right? Yesterday, I saw, was it yesterday? Yeah, I yesterday I saw, because Friday is the the day the, the Muslim community go to the mosques to pray, right? I saw quite a lot of Muslims going to the mosques. So I was thinking there must be like a, you know, like a religious thingy, but I didn't know it was Ramadan. It's good to know. I've missed some of my friends like uh, happy Ramadan because I forgot. But yeah, thank you for letting me know. Hopefully you have a good Ramadan too. It's the 8th of May for me. Yeah, it's the 8th of May for me too. But it starts, uh, starts 12th of April till 12th of May. It's a month. And um, you can't swallow your spit as well because uh, normally when Ramadan happens you're not allowed anything to go into your body until um, the timing so when the sun thingy goes down and up and down that's what my friends told me I don't know if that's true but that was the brief explanation they gave it to me so normally you'd see a lot of people spit um, spit out the fluids because they can't swallow it so don't think they're being um, unhygienic and they're being um, like not caring it's just the uh, it's just the process during this phase if you try and understand what i mean you get the idea playing night on my mace is disgusting i always thought it was last part of the year yeah same that's what i was thought it was near the last part of the year that's what i was like is it ramadan funny enough i learned when i was an islam in prison what funny enough i learned what i know about islam in prison no way you've been to prison go Makes sense. What does you mainly profit come from? Crafting? Yes, Andre comes from crafting, refining, and um, mainly focus. Depends. It's okay to swallow the spit since it's from your body. It's biologically impossible to have no fluids enter your body. You know what I mean. Like, I'm guessing his was a bit stricter because um, he didn't drink water and he normally, um, when he had a bit of saliva, he'd normally um, spit it. But yeah, I was like, wow, that's kind of hardcore, bro. And I'm surprised you do it every day. Like in school, this was when I was in sixth form or like high school. And he used to do it every day, play sports, do lessons, everything. I was like, damn, that's that's epic. Like with will to will power and determination right there three times holy shit bro humidity from the air goes through your skin not like that type miss stop trying to be smart i was hard-headed youngster <laughs> i was a gym gaming youngster what type? i was just a hardcore neat Ramadan is about how the poor feel and live. I did not know that. Interesting. Okay. I have 324 laborers. Do you think it's better to have the same laborer or to have different ones? I think it's a good idea to have majority of the same, at least 50% of the same ones. And then if you want to try and test the other ones, you can do that. But I have all Fletcher laborers. I have 100% one type of laborer. Any tips for no focus crafting? Um, don't no focus craft. If you're crafting, you want to use focus because it gives you more resources returned. It gives you a um, quality increase and it gives you a... Let me just, let me hover over here. Look. Crafting with focus increases resource return rate, increases chance to produce higher quality items. While you have premium active, focus recovers every time, even when you're offline. So those are the two bonuses. You always want to craft with focus. If you're refining, you can refine without focus in the city where you get the, the city bonus from. I'm guessing I was just the, the hardcore gamer youngster. An enemy gaming, hardcore, heavy metal youngster. That's probably what I was. So let's say you're crafting tier 3 blocks in a huge quantity. Should you use focus? No. Anything below tier 4, tier 5, um, don't bother because you're not going to be making enough profit and you're not going to get focus on your specializations. 
So for tier 3, you don't want to use focus. Main reason being, you don't get a bonus to a crafting tree. So after tier 4, you can start using focus because it will affect your refining trees because it starts on tier 4. From tier 3, it's just this node and this node doesn't give you any extra benefits. So tier 2, tier 3, you don't want to use uh, focus for refining. Tier 4, you can start. Tier 5, you can start also. But um, you want to save it for tier 6, tier 7, tier 8, especially the learning points, tier 7, tier 6, tier 8. Yo, what the fuck? I just killed a guy in Stalker that had 1.3 million. Easy profit, bro. Welcome welcome to the bear pause. Sometimes crafting in a non-city bonus is better. Do the math on taxes and tiers. Yeah, exactly. As Mohammed said, it's all about researching yourself and doing the, uh, the right amount of research. Mainly, just use a... If you saw my video that came out Wednesday... No, came out yesterday, Friday. Yeah, yesterday. Tools you should be using. Go to that website, select the tools, go to the refining or crafting tools, use them tools to calculate profit, tax, mastery, resource return rate, etc. And then it will tell you if you're making profit or if you're not making profit. And that way you don't have to do all the complicated thinking. Uh, the calculator does it for you. Yeah, pro gamer 5-5 five, five got shot straight in the skull by a goblin archer. Feels bad, man. Yo, you know what? We're going to do FFA. Let's do some FFA. Free for all. Free for all should be working though, right? Yeah, it should be working. Um, let's see. Crafting quarter staffs. Oh no, quarter staffs mat has changed, isn't it? I should probably switch to switch to double bladers for ganking. Quarter stuffs are making good profit because of the the corrupted dungeons meta, so they're selling quite a bit. My internet just killed itself, or hopefully mine doesn't because I'm streaming. Cool, done. I'm watching on data. Turn the quality down to one for four or one uh, two forty. So you can see what I'm doing, but you don't waste a lot of data. So putting yo triggers the bot. Yo, hello, hi. All trigger a Streamlabs bot that um, responds with like yo, whoever said it. But I think um, I've put it on, instead of administrator, I've put it down to approved users. So it happens every now and again. Whereas if it was a proper uh, administrator to the channel, it would activate all the time. You get the idea. That, 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 that. Cool. Next character. Now, nah, I want to be able to see the stream. Thumbs up, bro. So that is the second character done with our focus. Now we have three more to go. So change email. Bang. Um. Uh, yeah, there you go. 720 is pine. I don't use data for anything. I mainly use data when I leave the house, which is I hardly leave the house. But when I do leave the house, I use the data for um, read a manga. Um, recently, it's to watch YouTube videos on cryptocurrency or read up on Reddit on crypto. And just I use data for knowledge and entertainment. So if I'm outside, I'm eating lunch. I use it to watch Disguised Host, Among Us videos. But I think I've caught up now. So I'm gonna have to find a new form of entertainment, but this guy's toast. Eight months among us every single day. Those eight months, he made my lunchtime enjoyable. Because I knew every lunch I'm gonna be watching a disguised toast video. I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'm gonna enjoy that half an hour and I'm gonna get 20 minutes or 30 minutes of content. I don't even use it for leaving my house because I download everything. <laughs> that's uh that's a good way of doing it too. Um, oh yeah, shit. We got um, we got bad on bows tier five. Bad on bows tier five. Any bad on bows tier four? No bad on bows tier four. Tier six? No tier six. So we'll take. Oh shit! I don't have wood. I don't have tier five wood. Tier five wood. Tier five wood. Oh, that's not good, bro. That's not good. Um. 
No, I'm just. I want to. I need 32, right? 32. Also, I want to take this. Oh, let's go. What is the recent manga you read? How many months you've been playing? Um, how many months I've been playing? I've been playing roughly two years. I'm getting up to my two year of playing Albion. Oh, so I've been playing for over the past three years. But if you put timings together during the day, it's getting close to two years. I got a stack in Sterling for you. What stack? Uh, mangas recently I've been reading. Let me get up my thing. So recently it's been um, all of the villainess mangas have started. Um, like all the villainess mangas. So I've been reading um, the player that can't level up, solo leveling, immortal swordsman. Then um, kill the villainess. Then we'll be reading. Tales of Demons and Gods. A versatile mage is put on hold. Star martial technique is put on hold. God of martial arts put a hold. Return his guide to magic. Magic conqueror. Then the beginning of after the end. I am the sorcerer king. Muko Tensei that recently got an enemy. Then um, the gamer, but that's kind of get boring. Then Magic Emperor, Ranker who lives a second time, Volcanic Age, the Scholar's Reincarnation, The Legend of the Moonlight Sculptor, Survival Story of the Sword Saint in the Fantasy World, Goblin Slayer has kind of been slow. Then um, I watched Nanatu Nataiza, I haven't read it right now. Skeleton that can't protect the, the dungeon, the Tomb Raider King. Uh, Peerless Dad. Basically, a whole bunch of ones I'm enjoying right now. Noblesse has finished. The Hunter. Remonster. Thelma's finished. The Immortal. Great, the Great Immortal. The Great Mage that returns after 4,000 years. That's pretty dope. Chronicles of the Heavenly Demon. That's pretty dope too. Then um, Dungeon Reset is pretty funny. FFF class trash hero. That's pretty jokes. I like that one. Otherworld warrior. I like that one too. That one's pretty smart. Nice, uh, nice spin on things. Then what else do we have? Uh, the new gate is Sekai Tensai Sodoku. Then there's the stagnant water one, like the trash MMO player. The monster duchess. Then um, battle frenzy, but that's on hold. The Master of Goo, that's pretty smart. Overgeared, can't forget Overgeared. Overgeared is dope. Yeah, but a, a whole bunch of ones. A whole bunch of ones. I've been enjoying Manwa a lot more recently. Oh, you're reading Manwas. I enjoy Manwas, Mangas, all sorts of types. I enjoy a lot of them. But yeah, I've been recently reading more Manwas than uh, Mangas. The only thing that uses my two books, spreadsheets, photos of my partner and my son on a few apps. All those are great. Immortal Flame, DT, God, like, yes. Hello, I read 90% of the ones you just said. Exactly, bro, because they're good. They're, they're so good. They get you hooked too. Did you fill all your books or do you need to buy some? I fill 70% of my books. I buy 30%. But if I'm leveling, so if I craft any of these, I'm going to get more books. But if I craft this... It's going to be for focus to get specialization. So I'm going to get less books. So I'll have to buy more books. So it depends what I want. If I want books, I craft from these. If I want to level and gain specialization, I craft from this. You know what? I read Tesla spec sheets, material science books, and quantum computing books. Yep, that's, uh, that's too advanced for me. I read manga, look at pictures, and then laugh. Can I gank you? I don't leave Carleon, so good luck, bro. <laughs> I hardly leave Carleon. Nobody's selling this? Feels bad, man. Uh, is this the... Oh, that's a, that's above average. There's quite a lot above average. 20% above average. That's not good. I need three of these, though. need three of these. There you go. 
Crafting bowls are being profitable. No, right now crafting bowls break even. Crafting bowls right now, you break even or you lose a little bit of prep. Yo, you're gonna ZVT today? It's reset day? Yo, today's reset day? Send me a ping. And if I'm not eating dinner and stuffing my face, I'll be there. Actually, tell me what time and then I'll be there. I read spreadsheets on microcontrollers. Wow, you guys are too advanced for me, bro. I, I enjoy the, the small little things. Wait, when's the next reset day? The Discord up? My Discord should be up. Um, Librium, DTA, go down. Oh shit, 30 minutes, okay. Reset day is in 30 minutes. I need to I need to finish this crafting real quick so I can come to reset. Because I've been busy on the... I think I attended the last NA reset, but I didn't attend the EU reset because I was working. So let's, let's quickly do this. We quickly do this. We prepare stuff. We go. We go. Let's go. Let's go. Mass in 30 minutes, dude. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me finish my let me finish my crafting and shit. Let me quickly finish my crafting. And shit. Oh shit. I knew there was something happening today, but it skipped my mind. It was reset day. I was like, I'm pretty sure something's happening today. I was like, never mind. Let me just stream. Even with max specs, now it's now profitable. Sad. Um, it depends what you're crafting. Well, that's what I study in college. Manga Manwa is the stuff on the free time. Yes. I can't laugh at the book Tesla spec sheets. I just Tesla news. You know, best safety rating car. 1.9 seconds to 0 60 incoming. Tesla um, auto brake system is pretty good from what I've seen. It's reset day. Is reset daily? No. T reset day means. Uh, let me let me quickly do this and I'll explain reset day. And then I have to do. Um, that plus that and that bang so i have 1k focus left okay so reset day means everything in the black zone gets reset so it becomes white which means nobody owns the territory and you fight over the territory if you see it the yellow crystal glows that means if you conquer that if your boss team so normally guilds have a boss team and the boss team focuses on single target damage the most maximum ip best single target damage they can so they can easily kill the boss that's holding the nodes here like here in the center here and once you claim it it becomes your um your territory or your castle or whatever it is well castles are different but mainly territories like this like here castles are already claimed because that that's different utc but um reset days for territories so basically the whole black zone resets and guilds go to reset day to fight to claim that territory um and reset is maintenance that happens every day um fuck okay so i've done that i've done that i have 10k focus left so it looks like i'm gonna have to refine a bit material silences is a work in line i want to do yo so when you meet Elon Musk, tell him to send me some dodge clan And quantum computing because I'm trying to get my head around quantum computing physics because I don't get how quantum computers can use solar energy to process something. Well, quantum computers are the future, right? But I don't understand exactly the whole aspect of quantum, quantum computers. But I do understand that it is the future because its processing power is way better than what we have right now. It's just getting to quantum mechanics that um, that's the hard part. How can I make money for premium in like two to three days? You do PVE, corrupted dungeons, you avoid fights, you go for the loot and the bosses. Take all of this. I only need a hundred and one on one. Did I just buy eleven? Don't say I just bought I bought eleven. Do. It's like a Jormon Grand if you watch the anime Jormon Grand and the supercomputer. Mm. 
yeah, quantum computers are way better than the ones that we normally use. Is enchanting with runes nice profit? Yes. If you save all your runes that you get from corrupted dungeons, from group dungeons, from all your like things, income sources with the rune, and you enchant excellent to masterpiece gear, you can make profit by selling it to the black market or to the normal market. If you just want to make normal profit, then enchanting artifact stuff is also a way you can go about doing it. Reset day, I'm crafting beds and tables. Fuck, it's more expensive on reset day. Shit. I've got to buy my gear. I have some of my gear already though. I have quite a bit of my gear already. Let been playing for five days, already to six. Nice, my man. Keep it up. You get to tier eight in no time. And then you can start um, unlocking weapons and stuff. Practically, quantum computers can use less than 0.001% of normal energy used by normal computers can do the same thing. That is dope. Legit. Smiling, can you trade me a masterpiece signed mace? Um, no, because I don't craft maces, bro. It's going to take me ages to get to um, mace crafting or get a masterpiece. Unless I'm crafting like tier 2, tier 3. Crafting blood letters here. I will be crafting blood letters in like 20... No, not blood letters. I'll be crafting daggers in like 20, 30 seconds. Because this character is finished. Um, logs. This, this. Deposit everything else. Cool, cool. Um, stack sort. Well, that goes here. That, that. Cool. Now onto my dagger crafter. <laughs> he lost all your points. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Here, let me give you a bo bonus. Does it happen every month? No, it doesn't happen every month. It happens... Uh, well, yeah, it happens every month because the season is three months and it happens three times a month, if I remember correctly. Every four... Yeah, every four weeks is reset. If I remember correctly. No! <laughs> oh, I lost all my points. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Uh, what do I need to craft? What fills journals faster crafting weapons or armor? I think they're both roughly the same, but I prefer weapons. Because you're using two resources to craft weapons. You're using two types of resources, so it's easier to manage. Whereas if you're crafting armor, it's one type of resource. You believe the issue with quantum computers is just the reliability. Uh, okay. Is that 15? Da -da -da -da. Everything else looks good. I'm going to craft claws because I need the books. Yo, what would be a good rat ing weapon in Slayer? Since Great Axe is shit now. Um, crossbows, swords, and bear paws, but bear paws did get their mobility nerfed. Bear paws did get their mobility nerfed, so they're good, but they're gonna get less mobility. <clears throat> I died, but 600k plus on. Well, you, you made profit, bro. You got fame as well. So everything's good. Everything is good. No craft clothes. I can show you my crafting specs on this character in a bit. I mean, because of the bad pause I got from diving someone. Nice. Yeah, so in today's day and age, when you do a computer science, 
you don't hear about computers getting zero or s's wrong you hear about people getting the code wrong yeah well zero and s is a binary code and most everything is made up of zero or one i know quite a bit well i'm not quite a bit i know about binary code because i studied computing and coding and binary code is the thing you will code Um, uh, quantum computing works on probability unlike normal computers, so it's only good for calculating uncertain events and quantum mechanics and events is not from the usual. Let's get to work. Zero zero one zero one 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 one. I don't know what that means. Is it a joke? Is it a programming joke? Deadly choice. Of course. Cool. Uh, so this is my crafting spec on my dagger character. Uh, max single, max dagger pair, max claws, max blood letter, max black hands. I maxed death givers a couple weeks ago. Now the only thing left is bridal furies, and they are going to take a long time because they're Avalonian artifacts. Just got 300k from a CD kill. Nice, good profit. I'm back. Welcome back, Anton. Welcome back. What you do now after this activity? After this activity, we are going to go do... Um, what do you call it? We're going to go do... Uh, reset day. Because it is reset day today. And what reset day is, it's where um, all the guilds go to the black zone and slaughter each other for loot. And territories. Mainly for loot though. So, let's see how it goes. Well, somebody made a Minecraft clone on Quantum Computer, so they just have to learn the code for it. Interesting. Wait, how long do I have left? Fuck, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So, fuck. Alright. Uh, less talking, a little bit more concentrating on the character process because you need to get ready for reset day smiling monster reset day um 110k we saw that's the i can't bother we sell it today 15 minutes for it's reset day today two kids Reset day is when you go with the guild to the black zone and fuck shit up. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Different character, different character. I was about to say. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that. Log out, switch character. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's 30 days till EU reset. Uh, one of my guild member uh, mates just came into the the chat and was like, yo, smiling, 30 minutes reset day. I was like, fuck, reset day's the day? He was like, yeah. I was like, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, let's... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Focus, smiling, focus. Back you want milk, please. Please. That. Eat the pie. I eat the pie. Um, people actually used it in trial stages, so no, it's not a lie. It's a it's essentially legitimate thing. Yeah, Empire today's reset day. <laughs> EU resets in thirty minutes. No, no, EU reset starts in ten minutes. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <laughs> I'm telling about the Minecraft thing. Man, it's expensive. Reset day, reset day is expensive. Da, da, da. Take all. Let's go. Ratting time. Yo, yeah. If you don't want to do reset day, you're not part of a guild. 
you can start writing corrupted dungeons and not many people are going to bother you because quite a lot of them are doing reset day so now's a good time to get that writing time in to get good profit Corrupted dude, pew PVZs. <laughs> oh, I went past it. Uh, this one, off we go. If you want to know the profit, keep a look here. It's just too much extra work. What, for the quantum computing? Or the Minecraft thing? What are you guys talking about? Smiley Monster is on my TV. I'm playing now. I'm on TV, mom! I'm on TV! They have to be cold to be in stable state. Otherwise, you cannot predict position of bit crazy. Because they normally... Are in super position state. Last time I checked, they were still working on validation qubits here. Corrupteds are actually full of bows now. It's so horrible. I play bow. Um, is it bad ones? Yo, Smiley, can you be at the bank? I will be in like two minutes. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Is it me or is the ox showing off? It would be too much extra work to my main play Minecraft on a quantum computer. Smiling, is it profitable to raise and craft tier 3 horses and Carleon? I would avoid raising horses or animals due to the, how the focus mechanic works. Um, it can be, but it, I would just spend my time either doing crafting, cooking, potions or refining. On my way back. <laughs> what to grow and farm? Anything to seven to eight or carrots.
Hello, boss. Can't afford anymore. You don't have to, bro. Much appreciate. Oh, uh, you want? Oh, fuck! I sold it. Yo, you want a poison potion? I'll give you a poison potion. Handcrafted by Smiling Monster himself. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I was gonna give you a handcrafted poison potion by Sm oh, It doesn't say crafted by. It was bad, man. Oh well. Guess I'll have to deposit that back. Uh. 8,000 and we're massing in 8 minutes. We're massing in 8 minutes. But I just have enough time to get the 8,000 craft off. And then we'll go to... We'll edit the title. Monster. Is it hard work to keep? I know I sell wolf pups and cubs. Yeah, well, um... Mainly due to how focus works, it's hard to grow animals, right? But, um... How do I say this? Uh, it's more effective to spend your focus on cooking, crafting, refining, and potions than it is to breed animals, plant crops, or um, water herbs. Fuck, man. Guess I can just craft some cabbage soup. Craft some cabbage soup. Guess, yeah, let's just craft some cabbage soup. Uh, that's not going to be the most profitable thing to do. But uh, we just need to use the focus. It doesn't matter right now. How many laborers do I have? I have 200 laborers. 200 Fletcher tier 8 laborers. Yeah. Uh, it's how focus works with animal breeding craft... Uh, Crops and herbs. That's a lot of worms. Well, you know, I've been collecting them ever since and I haven't sold any of them. So that's since I started doing all my um, herbs and farming. And when worms were introduced with the fishing update. It's since then. What do you bring me today? Oh, la, la. Good lord, I got three rock people. Three rock people? I'm testing moose breeding with 100 out of 84 rare animal breeding. It's gonna be 40% return, so out of the nine, there'll be a couple of procs unless I get unlucky. Yeah, so rare animal breeding is all about um, using your focus to get the extra um, puck drop chance, but normal ones, it's a bit different. But the main thing is, is with the rare mount breeding, the other breedings of the mounts don't give you bonuses with the focus cost reduction. Because if they did, it would be kind of broken because it would go under the, the estimated value. That's why they haven't done it yet. I don't know in the future if they plan to change it somehow. But if they did, it'd be a good thing to start. Oh, well. Wow. One sec. Yeah, it'd be bro. Cool, cool, cool. Chokri, you put headphones, Mukutu. Let me message Kari there. Ah. By the way, should I leave potions in my bank and chest for fame week to learn them or just sell them? The lower tier potions, like the tier 3 ones, tier 5 ones, uh, yes. The ones that are useful, so tier 4 poisons. Um, tier 6, tier 8, you should sell. Use the... So what I do is I craft like two, 300 potions, tier 3, then study them. That gives you a bit of specialization. Do that on all the trees. That way you get um, a good amount of specialization, which will benefit your main tree. 
That is how I did it. So what I mean by that is I crafted tier 3 Gigantify, tier 3 Poison, tier 3 um, Sticky Potion, is it Resistance Potion? Whatever, the, the three tier 3s, crafted till I got to like a 1520 spec, studied the rest of them on the Fame Boost week, so it got to like 30, 35, excuse me. And then if you do that across the whole thingy, if you do that across the whole of the these ones, but all of these ones get it to like 30 or 40, you get the, the benefit stack. So for that's 30, that's 30, that's 30, that's 100 if one was 100. If that's 30, that's 30, that's 30, that's another if that was a 90. You get the idea. So basically, it's better to get the low levels up, then focus on the higher levels, because the low levels still help you with the focus cost reduction. And it um, it's per a level increase, it's not like higher tiers give you the better increase. You crafted the tier 3s out focus, yes, in Kalium because you get the buff. And tier 3 materials aren't that expensive and the loss isn't that big. Satisfied? From tier 4 onwards you use focus from tier 3 and tier 2, I don't. I crafted 345.2 cabbage soup yesterday. Why? Wait, was is it was it that profitable? Smile the monster, smile the monster, smile the monster, smile the monster. Yeah, Carleon gives you the bonus, bro. And Carleon gives you the 15% bonus for studying. So try and craft it in Carleon. And thank you for the herbs. I'll be making more um poisons with them in a bit. Definitely. Excellent. Well, not today, because right now we're going to uh bridge watch. We're going to bridge watch. You already had the fish for it. Cool. Do I have any sets here? I have no sets here. Oh, I do have a set here. What the fuck is this set? Six mil? I randomly found six mil. Uh, okay, I just randomly found six mil in my bridge watch chest. Bank recovered, bank recovered. It costs 17,000 and it costs me 19,000 to recover it. Why would I recover this? 424k, mainly because of this. It costs 77k and to recover it, yeah, that's, that's a no. Um... Uh, where's the Elevate Discord? Mm -hmm. uh, I was just getting chopped fish at 65 silver of fish, just deleted them by the way. I could take that gear set. This is my Avalonian gear set, but they nerfed Spectre Jacket, so I'm gonna have to sell this. I'm gonna have to sell this. This is to reset the thingy. Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell quite a lot of this. I could take the 6.1 Great X. Yo, I could go Great X. Spin to win, right? Um, uh, where's the? Okay, so we're getting ready to reset day. Getting ready to reset day. What the? Reset day. Um, Discord. Levy Discord. It's 
so what's the ZVZ Grey Axe build? Let's have a quick look. Wait, Smiling, did you end up using the Wolf, the Elite one? I was messing with the one before the stream. It's actually hell of good, the instant dismount. I haven't sold it yet. I've kept my gifts. I keep all my gifts. I'm gonna use it at some point. What's the what's the instant dismount? The wolf dismount? I've seen it with Hellion and Cleric, but I think Hellion is better. Okay. Let's take one of these. This. The change. Okay, I'll look into that. Let me let me get ready for the. I'm gonna be late. Let me quickly get ready. Uh, I'm guessing it's omelet. Omelet. This. Uh, I need a couple more of these though. I'll take five. Um, I don't want to. Do I need to deposit the sets? Uh, I could take a good first set. Let me go buy some sh I shouldn't have bought my gear today. Gear's gonna be expensive today. Fuck. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, well, that didn't sell. So, sell it again. Sell it again. Alien. Check. Check it. And gonna. Oh, 4.3. 118. 5.3. Well, what was that jump? 2. 6.3, 6.2, 6.1. Kind of expensive. 7.1. Oh damn. Um. Let's just buy an extra set. Buy one of these. Bang. Um. It's do not omelet. What's the best way for a newer player to make money? Check my how to make bank playlist. It gives you twenty money making methods on how to make money. And uh, right now, corrupt, right in corrupted dungeons. Go to ZVZ. No ZVZ. Easy feedback, raid builds, ZVZ builds. Um, you don't need a night armor. No. <clears throat> it's stew. I guess it is stew. Let's buy some stew. stew. Okay, eight, eight point one, eight point two of these, and then we need to buy flat ones for the second build. Bang, fifth claw. Um, tier five point one, claw, swift claw. Oh, second set. Oh, bags, bag. Get flat six point. I just need a flat six bag. Two six bags. Take this. Spear or bow? I hate bows. Can I use the bow build for the corrupted? I mean, you. Yeah, you can use the bow build. Stay on it. Um, da 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 da. Was it night armor? I can go a stalker now. What's the cape? Motlock. Yeah, five point two. Perfect. Um. Point two, two hundred K. How much is eight point one? Eight point one is ten nine, right? 
I guess there's no... 7, 7.3 expensive. So that's 10, 9, 600k. 6.2k, 6.3, 800k. We can use 4.1. I mean 8.1. 8.1 great X. Oh no, it's the hand of core in it. Yeah, there you go. 400k. The hand of. Uh, okay. Great. To six point two. <gasps> Chat, what is reset day? It's when all the territories in the black zone get reset. So two hundred and forty and hand of core. Um use eight mil. Okay. It's not feeding. Bang bang. Squalor sandals. Um, make sure I use the skills. Set it up. Uh, the other great X is there. Then what is it? Night. Um, Night or Great X for Stalker. Honest prices. Realm break. Oh yeah, realm. Stay honest. Yeah. Yeah, so Yeah. Ooh. Well, Stoker's not bad. Hmm. Uh we'll go Stoker. Hood. Stoker hood. Oh wait, I got a message. Okay. I have to load. 7.1. Bye. Never buy gear on reset day. I'm just letting you guys know. I kind of messed up, that's why. I messed up. Um, this, what else do I need? That goes there, weapon, armor, shoes, armor, cape, bag, mount, food, potions. Extra set of potions, there you go. This can go back here. Um, maybe we could assassin herd, but let's not. We'll, we'll stalker. Stalker herd with mortal agony. You get the extra damage off. Cool, let's go. Um, in a bit, in a bit. Let's go reset day. I'm gonna have to turn on chat. There you go, so you guys can't see the map. Um, where is it? Monkey, 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 monkey. Green bridge, eh? What? Elevate island, right? What? Bridge watch. Bridge watch, elevate island. Why is luck which? What? Hello?
I can't find the Elevate Island. I cannot find the Elevate Island. What is going on right now? You gonna stream the reset day or that's the end? No, I'm gonna try and stream it. Uh, I'm gonna have to make it so you can't see where we are and you can't hear Discord comms. But um, I'm gonna try and stream it. Type it in the search bar. Type in to click with the world itself. See if you can type the name. Elevate. There you go. Can do it that way. Join. Reset day is when all the territories in the the black zone get reset, and you fight for the territories. Mamano is here. One point five millisecond. People go Gucci on reset day. People go hard on reset. Oh shit, that could be another good one. Check the builds. Stalker and Judicator? This guy's going 8.3! This guy's going If you enter the zone when you see a loading screen so you need to cover up the other stuff as well oh shit yeah the, no but i'll just go like this when we move i'm just going to be on just chatting so it's going to be really hard to see because the games are minimal and then when we're waiting i'll switch back to live stream if you get the idea that's what i'm going to do once we start moving Um, okay, headphones on, bro. And then, what is it? It's voice meter. Voice meter, it should be on number two. Yep, okay. But I should turn off Discord so you guys cannot hear it. Because you don't want to hear our comms. I'm going to jump into... GTA one. Settings. Gonna go to video and audio. Voice meter. Do I need to turn? Uh, no, I can turn it off here, right? Uh, here I am refining, just casually refining 20k stone. Ray X could be the new way. I also think this stalker hood for the increased damage or reduced damage. Gonna switch this. Speakers are gonna be wireless gaming headphones. There you go. What do you think is the best crop to dungeon build? It's arguable what the best crop to dungeon build is. But if you wanna know what works, you just go to Infamy, crop the dungeons, and you just check the people here. With like uh, the high kill, the high kills, the high deaths. No, not not any of these. Baby Yaga, this one. So this is what currently works in corrupted dungeons. Then you can go with this amber for north. This is what works. You get the idea. Where do we go? only one guy here 7-eleven he is cool 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 where are we at where do we gather this guy's oh, oh point Okay, I think my set works. This is to engage, it's engage. You get a bit of movement speed. Everybody, the great X spin to win. Stalker, yeah, but this can get purged. This can get purged real easily. So can my Hellion jacket, to be fair. Okay. Let's just check what every... 8.2 excellent, 8.2... 
4.3 masterpiece 7.2 stalker jet should i go stalker jacket but only five people can get hit which is the downside only five people can get hit which is 8.3 tank set there you go Going big with the 8.1 food. Nah, man. You see people have 7.3 food. Why are the bell notification not active? I'm not sure, Ali. Like, I went live. It should give you a notification that Smiling Monster is live. But I don't know. Maybe YouTube's bug. Bro, 20k refine must take a mint to, at a click. Uh, Yeah. And you can't macro. So just be careful not to macro and get... um, Go full mace. Nah, 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 nah. I could go bloodletter actually. I could go bloodletter. Let me go bloodletter. I got one. What's the bloodletter set? Uh, Liberia. Bloodletter, 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 bloodletter. Where's bloodletter? Oh, no more bloodletter. Oh yeah, it's a uh, elevate and. Yeah, let's let's not mess about. We'll just do the Great X. I also missed your last stream. Don't worry, bro. We're all good. We're all good. I got down. Let me run around the island. Oh, they don't have anything built? Just tier five houses? Got a bunch of stuff here. Gonna run around. Oh, this is where everybody's at. Fuck me. Uh, I'm kind of new here. Okay, I guess I'm here. I'm here. There you go. So, wow. This is DPS, melee DPS. There you go. Range DPS, then healers. Tanks this side, and then um, supports the other side. Are you done with your daily laborers and guild islands? Yes, I am. We are going to be doing reset day. We are doing reset day today. It's, uh, it's the fight. Um, I don't normally die, so I bought an extra set. If I do die, I can always come back. And reset day is where all the guilds go to the black zone, like the black zone guilds, the top guilds, and they fight for the territories. And it's basically a clusterfuck. So if my screen starts, oh shit, yeah, I should do ZVZ setting, shouldn't I? Game settings, video, custom, custom, medium. I should turn everything to low, but I should be okay. The only thing I need to do is. Um, I don't need guild health and I don't need enemy, well, I need enemy health, I need enemy, I don't need enemy names, I just need enemy, I do need enemy names, so the guild names, okay, so we get rid of the HP bars, that should get rid of some of the lag, we get rid of, get rid of enemy damage, get rid of ally damage, so ally heals. Damage numbers. We don't need damage numbers. But I can turn that off since we don't have damage numbers. Okay. That should that should make it so I'm not lagging as bad. But yeah. Let's take a look at what everybody's using. 8.1, 5.3, 8 point three full. Tier 8.1, 8, excellent. <clears throat> you say clusterfuck as well. Dude, nobody but me and you say clusterfuck. Clusterfuck is an awesome word. What do you mean? I love the word clusterfuck. So this is the boring part where we mess up. But you guys get to see Black Zone's EVZ. Uh 
I use it all the exactly. Should I upgrade my islands from tier six for farming? Three point five million. Oh, you can't say GB anymore, but nobody else I've met uses it. What do you mean? It's an awesome rip axe cues. Yep. Yep. Kind of shit now. Spin to win. <laughs> I'm gonna come with one of my main with my one man guild. Dude, same. I'm coming 24 characters playing on one screen. <laughs> Oh, are they already selecting DPS? Are they already making the parties? It looks like they're making the parties. Yo, let me quickly ask Bron. Let me ask if I can stream first, actually, yo. Can I even hear comms? I can't hear comms. That is bad. There you go. My Discord was off. Did you guys hear the Discord? There you go. I have my command mammoth and my bastions and my spiders. My man the shot caller? I think so. I'm not too sure. Hey, shit. Thank you, Zarovax, for the follow. Cool, cool, cool. What is my IP? My IP is almost 1500, so that's pretty dope. Anyone with normal sword? No, everybody's axes and halberds by the looks of it. Axes, axes, halberds. Are you guys hearing Discord? Are you guys hearing the comms? Because you're not meant to be able to hear the comms. If you can't hear comms, that's good, because I don't want you to hear uh, reset day battle comms. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. I got 4.1 because I haven't bought premium yet. <clears throat> cool, you can't. Sweet. So, it's working. Voice meter. Uh, voice. Yeah, voice meter is working. Good, good. Oh wait, this code was muted, that's why. Do that. Setting. Voice, audio, headphones. What is it? Uh, aux? Did 
Is it Orc Simple? Yo, handsome Bob, can you make a uh, party? Okay, that's done. Uh, did you hear the the thing you just done? It's a counter girl secrets. We should run more merc hoods and scholar sandals. It's good as sometimes if you use it before you go inside the door, it's get rooted and it doesn't disable it. So it's okay. There you go. Literally just go inside it doesn't. Do. Now we can hear that? Oh, that's not good. Which channel do like TS people sit in? Like... You scroll down, I'll scroll down. Oh, I messed up the settings. Give me a sec. Okay. Properties. Input VO. This was well, I'm a little broken Alright, let's Okay, can you hear it now? I've done all the settings. I've muted the Discord in OBS. I've set it so Discord is not on speaker one. I've set it on speaker two, which is just headphones. So you shouldn't be able to hear it. You should only be able to hear desktop. You should be able to hear uh, music. Mu can you hear music? There you go. You can definitely hear it? Can't hear anymore. Only you in the game, you can't hear music. Okay, so you should be able to hear music. You should be able to hear music, game sounds, and me, and you shouldn't be able to hear Discord. I've set it up now, it should be working properly. It should be all working. No music anymore. It should be fine now, it should be fine now. Oh, is that Sorizo? Yo, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Uh, what? Are the... Elevate, Guildzilla, the Lonely Man, Visionary, Elevate, Liberium. <coughs> yeah, there is music. Nice, cool. Everything set. Now we just wait for. Now, now it's just a waiting game, guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Now it is just a waiting game. Gucci Hobo, what are you doing? Missed Pesta, nice, nice. You know what, we should actually... Let me give a sec. Give me a sec. Uh... Nice, cool. Yeah. I have lots to trade. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. Guess we can what's the damage? Fifteen percent to get uh What's your favorite car? I don't know, man. I'm not really a car person. I don't really drive. I just drive whatever my dad and mom have. But I've... Um... No. I don't know. I'd say... I'd say any of the Need for Speed cars. 
any other need for speed got do you want i'll stay with damage i'll just stay with damage damage is what i need i'm great x i don't have to worry about um the other stuff i'm gonna go to elevate guild island so i'm gonna give you guys a bonus so whoever's watching gets bonus to points good night have fun on reset day thank you man see you later so many donkey and the text bug hits you see that i'm moving the text the pop-up chat the bug is here do raffle 100 quest let's get some quests on the way raffle isn't open right now cafe boss Dice coin. Oh, I wish I bring blood letter, but you can't bring blood letters in Elevate's party, right? Because they got banned. Only certain people are allowed to bring blood letters. Nice all. Interesting. <clears throat> you see how the lag started? <clears throat> Ella versus Sun or OPM? I don't know. I am your average uh, guild member. I don't do any of the officer stuff. I don't know any of the politics. I'm just here for reset day content. Uh, my set is kind of, a, well, it's not that expensive. It's 1.6 mil and the other set is 1.3 mil. So if I die, I lose three mil. That's nothing. I make that back in a day, but it gives me in 3k HP. So you want to aim for 3k HP when you're ZVZing. Reason being is um, if you're above 3k HP, you have a higher chance of surviving due to all the AOEs and all the drops. Also, make sure your computer can handle ZVZ. <clears throat> if you can't, then it's... Um, uh, if you can't, then... What was I saying? I got confused because I was listening to comps. Okay, so... There we go. And then we turn off game capture. Okay, so you guys are going to be stuck on this screen because we're getting ready to move out. Once we get into the zone, I will um, let you know. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. I turned off my game screen so you, you get to see my beautiful face for the time being. Yeah, bro. Yep, let's get ready. So you guys are going to be on this screen for the time being. The reason why you're on this screen is because we are moving. The Zerg is moving. And to count our spires and to count out all of the information that the enemy can get, you only see me switch screen when we start a fight. As soon as we start a fight, that's when you see me switch to the live screen. And that's when you see the combat happening. And then it'll be okay. But while we're moving, we don't want our enemies to know where the Zerg is. So to get rid of the counter spy, to get rid of information the enemy can get. Because they might randomly hop onto my stream and be like, yo, Smiley Monster streaming, he's in Liberia. This is where the Zerg is at. So this is where we need to go hit or this is where we can hit because their Zerg's not here. So there's a lot of like chess politic type things because of the map. And um, I've just got a message saying thank you for the anti-spies. So the guild appreciates me 
setting up, like getting rid of the game and just being on live chat. So that's why we were on live chat. And if you guys don't like it, sorry, but this is what I have to do to protect the Zerg and to protect the, the guild. And there's a lot of spying in Albion Online and like backstabbing and all of this, you know, um, guild warfare type stuff. So yeah, we're just going to be making sure uh, our Zerg is protected. Did you take my god potato? No, your god potato's in Carleon and we left uh, from Bridgewatch. <clears throat> oh shit, it's Sir Riser. What guild is Sir Riser in? Elevate? He used to be in conflict. He is in Elevate. Interesting. Yo, yo, interesting. Quite a lot of people I know are here that you used to play with. Oh, that was a lucky one. <laughs> yeah, this quad's funny, bro. Too bad you guys can't hear it. Moving with the Zerg. <laughs> okay, hope this is my first ZVZ in like a month since last reset day. So hopefully I don't fuck up. Hopefully I don't fuck up. Let's go. Do you already know who you'll be fighting? No, I don't. I tend to stay away from all that information. Um, Discord's not telling us because of spying reasons and team speak and all of that. So when I switch screens, it'll be when we're fighting. And if I start talking like, oh shit, we're fighting and we're still on this screen, remind me to switch. Oh shit. Okay, I see enemies already. Let's go. We see enemies. We're gonna be. Oh, that noise of everybody's owning. Hopefully, uh, the stream can keep up. Hopefully, the stream can keep up. We are doing ZVZ, and ZVZ streaming can mess up uh, streams, so just be careful. I believe in you. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Uh, this is pretty long run though. Pretty long run. So the reason the comms are blocked is because you know where we're going and who's giving orders and commands and they're giving you zone areas so um we don't want other people to know which zone we're in that's why we're on okay then it's just to be careful so there's currently gankers, you need to be careful. Okay, good, good. Oh wow, we're traveling. 
Interesting, interesting. Oh, okay. I know where we are now. I know where we are now. Cool, so we're in the hideout. Well, not uh, deposit the sets. Set home. Set home to Arthur's Rest. Yes. Cool. Good, good, good. Cool, now we just wait here. Um... So, you have any questions, feel free to ask. Right now, it's just a waiting game. We are currently waiting for information from Discord for when we should move out. And uh, waiting for all the, like, chests to start happen. Just waiting for, like, the chest pieces to line up on the black zone. So right now... Oh, you guys can't see the game map, but I can't show you where we are, too. Okay. Smiling trustworthy? Nah, bro. I'm rusty. <clears throat> How to make money early game? Rat crop the dungeons. It's one of the best money makers right now. It's the best thing ever. Smiling trustworthy. Nice. <coughs> nice. Smiling's a spy. Oh, yeah. Just make sure. I did. I did set home, but yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> we had to bring three sets, right? Uh, one plus two at minimum. Yeah, so I've got three sets. I'm good. Good build for solo dungeons. Crossbow build's pretty good build for solo dungeons because um, the Great Axe did get nerfed. And crossbow is good at speed clearing right now. But Spectre Jacket also got nerfed. So Druid Robe and Spectre Hood is the new way. There's no way because I hate PvP without specs. Vladimir, you don't PvP. You PvE. You take a speed clearing build. Speed clearing build. And just do the mobs. Like huge pack of mobs. Two, three pack of mobs. Then you do the mini bosses. And then you do the boss chests. And then the main boss. And you just repeat. Do not do pvp if you don't want to don't take the shrine just continue um should i gather to build houses or just buy the resources i would like i said rat crop the dungeons it makes the best profit right now don't pvp if you don't want to just do the pve side get enough money build the houses it's going to be much easier for you instead of um gathering because gathering if you're not high spec if you don't have tier 8 locked and you don't have a good black zone guild you're not going to be making as much profit as crop the dungeons off topic question is fishing more profitable than gathering methods in terms of long term fishing is quite profitable yes because fishing enchanted fish uh, enchanted source chopped fish etc yes it can be profitable however if you have a good black zone territory with good materials like a good um, area and good re hideouts then normal gathering is good but fishing will make you guaranteed profit and it's it's good to level I don't have any play i don't know how to play with commands i put the command in chat and nothing happens it should be exclamation mark so if you go to the description if you go to the the video description the stream description it'll give you a list of commands some commands you have to enter numbers after it so you have to gamble the amount of points so if you do quest exclamation mark quest space like 10 you're using 10 guild points I should, I'll update that after the stream. I'll update it, which ones need numbers at the behind it. Yeah, fishing is profitable after tier six. And if you do it in black zones, especially if you're going for tier seven, tier eight fish, 
try and get a excellent quality tier 8 rod because you get the extra um the gain and the yield from gathering so you, instead of getting three you can get sometimes four fish also oh let me, oh, i'm not reading guild chat i should be reading guild chat Da da da, see what is poor. Da 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 da. I say literally no. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, exclamation mark rank. S B E N is a villager rank. So ranks are based on hours. So how many hours you've watched the stream? If you watch the stream for like three hours, you go from villager to F rank, and then every um, it's based on hours. So the more you watch the stream, the higher the rank is. And then later on, when you reach like um, C, B, A, S, S, S rank, you'll be able to use commands to get more points. So it rewards people that are um, watching the stream for a long time and that are loyal um, loyal um, viewers to be able to get more guild points. Some other YouTuber made tests and found out that tier 4 yellow zone dungeons are more profitable than Corrupteds. Uh, I prefer Corrupteds. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, swell binge that you're talking about. Where are we going? That's up. Cool, cool, cool. Zoning out, zoning out. Cool. So we're zoning out of the hideout, but you still get to see this screen until we get into a fight. But. behind one brain and a bunch of half brains you know um let's go out so now Whoever's hot micing, make it a cold mic. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yep, yep. I'm here. I'm here. Uh... Nice. Apes strong together. Um, getting there, getting there. I mean, anything can be profitable if you specialize in. Exactly. This game rewards people that specialize in one thing. So the more you do one thing, the more mastery, the more fame, the more specialization you get. And the more of that you get, the lower the focus cost reduction and the lower the, it costs to craft. In terms of focus. We can probably catch these people. We can catch these. AoE today's stream is EVZ only. Yeah, I'm guessing. No, we did crafting in the mean, uh, morning. And then uh, one of my guildmates zoned in and said, Yo, it's EVZ. Reset day, 30 minutes. You there? I was like, yes. I forgot about it. 12 BNG runs them in 2 minutes. I run Corrupteds in 4 minutes 30 seconds to 5 minutes. This guy's dying. This guy's dying. He's dismounted. Oh, I didn't get nothing. No loot. No loot. 
easy 1v1. What about duel? How do I duel? You do exclamation mark duel, then the person name, who you want to duel. Um, I don't see the game. Yeah, you're not meant to see the game. Right now, it's a war of information. And if you saw my game scheme, because I haven't set it up properly, you're not meant to be able to see my game screen because you can get information on where the Zerg is, where our Alliance Zerg is, where the Guild Zerg is from my game screen. And that is leaking information. And I don't want to be leaking information. So until we get into a fight, until um, the enemy knows where we are, you're going to be seeing this screen. And then as soon as um, I get the command to dismount, when you get a command to dismount, that means you're going to fight and the enemy knows where you are. Then we can switch to live screen and then we'll... Okay, we're zoning. Okay, we're zoning, we're zoning. The thing is, I need to talk to you guys and pay attention to Discord. And sometimes... Um, it's cut. Oh wait, there's no music, is there? Continue the music. Yeah, you guys can tell me when the music's not playing. B A died with sets. B A died with sets. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. It is so much strategy. It's basically like chess. You're playing chess, like. One guild's here, one alliance is here, one guild is here, this guild is going for this territory, this guild is a boss team here, this guild has a gang team here, it's like that. What's going on right now? Right now, our zerg, so our alliance zerg, my guild zerg, we're all gathering in a place in the black zone. And we're wait. Oh, I'm gonna be... So, I have headphones in, I'm listening to Discord. There's like three, four hundred people in Discord, and there's like five to ten people that are called shot callers. Shot callers tell you what to do. So basically, one keeps track of where we are. One tells the Zerg. One tells the Guild. So like, um... so right now they just said they spotted a scout, and then another bit of information was um, the BA Zerg just got wiped and they dropped sets. So it's basically information warfare, right now. So have you all chosen the map which you occupy? Yeah, the guild leaders talk, um, like the alliance leaders talk about it beforehand. And then they try and talk about it with the enemy. So we're going to go for this. Are you going to go for this? Are you going to contest? If you are, we're going to fight you like that. Holy crap, that's a huge zerg. Yeah. Did you say Spectre Hood with uh, Druid Robe after patch? Yes. That is one of the combos. You can still Spectre Jacket. But it's not as good as before. It, it You can still Spectre Jacket. Spectre Jacket's still good. But it's not as good as before. It got a nerf. But yeah. If you go for the 4 rotation combo. Then it's Druid Rob Spectre Hood. If you just want to like run through the dungeon. It's Spectre Jacket. What is my guild name? Excuse me. My guild name is uh, Liberium. Or Librium. So right now we just moved to another map and now we're waiting at the entrance to another map. So we've, we've just uh, passed through one of the maps in the black zone and we're waiting at the entrance to another map because uh, we've spotted enemies in the other map. So if they try and engage us, we'll back off and get a strategic position. But if we're going to chase them, we will zone in and find a location to fight at. So we just got inform well, it's not information, but we're saying they're heading southwest. I'm not going to tell you where exactly southwest, but right now, it's information warfare. Right now, it's all about information. It's like, oh, like, sun is here, surf is here, blue army's here, conflict's here, um, elevate's here, crimson's here. Like, it's people going back and forth with information. There's a guy who's just calculating where they're going to be and how everybody's fighting. 
Can't wait to see the kill count rise and the FPS drop. Exactly. The FPS is going to drop once I switch screens and once skills start happening. Like, even right now, the ping is going up. And the MS, my connection is going up. But good thing, my stream is not lagging. You will start seeing my stream lag when we um, start ZVZing and when I switch screens. When I switch screens, is that's when you're going to see all the... The screen starts shaking, lagging, all of that stuff. <clears throat> oh, let's wait and see. Yeah, right now it's information warfare. So scouts are collecting info. Um, so we are in Discord. All the members are in Discord. All the leaders are in Discord with Priority Speaker. And there's a separate um, TeamSpeak server with all the leaders, all the scouts, and some of the supports. So they have a separate, separate information network that's just constantly, um, they're getting a lot of information and the information that needs to be told to the uh, main Zerg, which is us, the like three, 400 people, um, gets transported from um, TeamSpeak to Discord. The reason people are in TeamSpeak is they don't want other people um, to know what information they get and what information, like what they're planning, because some of the 300 people in this Discord, in the Alliance Discord, will be spies. And they will relay information to the enemy team or sell the information. It's You don't really sell the information. You just, um, you're spying for another guild. So you could be in my guild, which is Liberium. Uh, but then you could actually be a spy for like a blue army. You could be a spy for Crimson Imperium or Sun or any of the guilds that we're fighting right now. So basically you're giving information. And sometimes they try and catch spies by giving false information. So I'm a normal member. I'm not an officer. I'm not a high rank. I just enjoy playing with the guild, making YouTube videos, uh, ZVZing on reset days. I try and ZVZ sometimes normal, but majority of my time is editing videos, recording footage, and um, looking after my wife. That's a priority too, so yeah. So now we're just waiting. We're just waiting for the battle to happen. Uh, your guild with, your guild welcome seven mil fame player or they have some requests. Can I make an alliance with your guild? Uh, Moon, I'm not too sure. I don't think they have... Let me quickly check. I'm going to press G. Press G. Where's G? Yeah, I'm going to press G. The barium information. So they don't have a requirement right now. They just have an application on Discord. So it's an interview-based thing. But they will help you out. They're a friendly bunch of people. If you want... Um, God, I'm moving. They don't have requirements per se. They will help you out. But it's good if you're... Okay, stop talking. Um, one sec. Oh, I'm lagging so bad. My ping is 200 and my MS is 60. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. There you go. Uh, what is reset date and what happens? Reset date is when all the black zone territories get um, reset, so they get wiped. Uh, what that means is, um, so anybody that, any guilds or alliances that own stuff in the black zone, they don't own it no more. And then everybody in guild, um, like guild alliance, they log in, they use good gear, they use like 8.3, 8.2, 8.1, masterpiece excellent, like 0.3 food. Because reset day is when all the guilds, even people that quit, log in and um, f do ZVZs and fight. Because it's a big fight. Every guild and every alliance wants to reclaim their territories and their presence in the black zone. So they fight it out at certain times. What build you run for ZVZ? Well, right now, since the Great Axe got a nerf, I'm testing out the Great Axe build. You'll see it when I switch screens. But right now, it's still um, information warfare and people are still scouting and this and that. So we're just on a just talking screen. But uh, I'm using the Grey Axe, um, Hellion Jacket, Spectre Hood, Scholar Sandals build. With my guild, would you make plus one player? Uh, I'm not too sure, Anton. You have to ask the guild leader or the guild officers. Can I join um, Liberium only for ZVZ content? Um, yes, I think you can. There are mandatory CTAs because it's the Black Zone Guild and it offers Black Zone Presence and it is in one of the well-known alliances with uh, Elevate, which is um, 
one of the strongest guilds in um, PvP, like 5v5, 20v20, ZvZ content. Also, I've used the bonus command, so you guys will be getting extra points. Uh, okay, so I just got information. We're switching positions because the enemy is rotating, so we need to rotate. Oh, so I just got a message from the officer. Anybody can apply non-minimum requirements. We do one mandatory CTA per day. People have to join if they are online. Minimum attendance of three per week. So, yeah, okay, this is pretty... This is a really chill guild. Like, one a day and three minimum a week. Um, I might have to up that a bit, but I've been busy doing six days a week of content. I've been doing videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I've been streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I need to make that timing now where I can attend some ZVZs. Anybody is welcome to apply through Discord from the um, Librium Officer Bronculus. Okay, okay. Uh, cl cluster queues already. Fuck. Alright, if, if you see me stop talking, it's because I'm listening to comms and starting to... Can we catch him? Can we catch him? So we basically um, cut off a Zerg and we're killing them. Okay, fuck, he got away. Fuck, he's no. Got a mount up, got a mount up. <clears throat> Regrouping. So I didn't show you that guys because it's just us chasing and I didn't have anybody on my screen to fight. You can't even sell your reset because of rats. I can switch once we start an actual fight. We can start once we have an actual fight. This was an actual fight. This was just us chasing a group that was cut off. Screen isn't on? Yeah, yeah, no, it's um, it's on just talking screen. It's on the just talking screen until we get... Um... Gonna queue in. Reset day means all the black zone territories drop and all the guilds um, have to reclaim them so everybody in top guilds top alliances log in at a certain time to fight for their territories again hey can i probably ask this before what do you invest your silver in to get maximum profit mount skins cosmetic skins but they're, they're fighting in the other map I've queued into the other map, and once we get into the other map, once I catch up to the Zerg, I'll be switching screens. I'll be switching screens. But I've turned off uh, Discord, so you can't hear commands. 
Where can I find the Discord? Um, I'll show you in just a sec. But um, since it's reset day, I'm going to concentrate on this. And then I can link it afterwards. I'm not muted. I'm not talking. I'm listening to thingy. I'm not talking right now because I'm concentrating on the fight. So if you don't see me talking, uh, it's because I'm concentrating. And because I'm listening to comms, I'm not really speaking because it's going to be um, harder to process <laughs> I just got a black panther <laughs>
I managed to survive. I managed to survive. Uh, I'm lagging like hard though. I'm lagging so hard. And I, I got quite a bit of loot. I got zoned out due to IP. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Ah. Missing the fight. So... We just made 850k. And this, if we, if we live, if we live. No, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. We got zoned out because the IP cap. I'm at 1.5k IP and I got zoned out because everybody is higher than 1.5k IP. People are in 8.3, 8.2, excellent, 8.3 masterpiece. So they're at 17, 1800 IP and they're pushing us out. So I'm, I'm waiting in queue right now. Oh man. East is East, you bloody video. I can't say the two words he said, that's why I went blue to be. Oh my god. Did we just wipe? Damn. So uh, our Zerg just kind of wiped. Half of us were split. Half the Zerg went this way, half the Zerg went that way, and we were meant to go the other way. Okay, so...
Oh, we're gonna regroup, regroup. Need to need to switch. What am I doing? I'm currently trying to regroup with the Zerg for reset day. man this is kind of hard i can't there's so many people camping the gates and i can't go back to the zerg because i got zoned out so i need to need to go down okay we're going south They, they blocked off the exit. Where is the place with the most loot in the Avalonian map? Uh, I, that is a weird... Is it reset day? Reset day is when all the territories in a black zone drop. And when they drop, all the guilds try and reclaim the territories that they did own. So they go into the black zone to fight for territories. Let's go south. Sideways. Alright, I'm queuing, I'm queuing. So right now we're just waiting on queues. You know how to avoid ganker with encrypted dungeons? Always get ganked in red zones. Gotta be careful. Um, yeah. Run. Gotta run. Enter, enter. Nice, I'm zoning in. I'm zoning in. Hmm. The zoning was oh shit, he's getting ganked. So this is what happens. People get split. When you get split, um you have to find your way back to the Zerg. And finding your way back is kinda difficult because there's enemies everywhere.
Uh, it's the whole zone that I just zoned into is enemy zone. Always check when how many PvP is on the map and try not to play on peak hours. Do not do oh shit, run away. It, actually this game is easy to play, it's just what you make it difficult. The best way to counter red zone ganking would be to um always check bottom bottom right of the map to see how many people there are and check when the closest deaths are if there's a death next to you get away from that death because that either means there's red red gankers near you or it's a faction death so two zones are queued Gonna wait, gonna have to wait. I have to wait. We queue. No, I don't think we queue, bro. Uh, I'm guessing Yes, okay, so we have to go here Cannot skip yet cluster queue has not been overcrowded long enough to skip okay, so we have to wait a minute to skip <sighs> Gonna go to grassland You guys want to know what the commands are? Check the check the stream description, and you get the the commands, all the chat commands that are available in the Discord, like Discord chat. And once we get near a fight, we will switch screens. How's it going? I'm off to bed. Just wanted to know. We won our first two fights. We got separated on a third fight. I got separated. I got zoned out because um, IP and cluster queue. Then I'm trying to get myself back to the Zerg. Your reset day was or were going. Yeah, they're good, they're good. We won two fights. We won two fights. Come on, man. They're going good, they're going good. If I make it back, I've made 1.5 mil. Because I managed to get a Black Panther and a couple of other things. Albion will be released to someone on Android. Is it more optimal, even worse, or how did you respond? Um, it's not optimal on Android, but you can play it on Android. How am I top five? Because uh, Mist and two kids gambled all their points. Well, I've been playing Android, Albion on Android for some time now. How'd you find it? The, the UI has improved and the lag and um, zone thingy has improved. So it's... Go to the gate and catch who can. Okay. So they're still fighting. They're trying to regroup. I'm trying to get even more. It is worse. It's definitely worse. It's better to play on PC or tablet. All right, I just saw him. Okay, okay. So they're fighting. Need to... Need to go down. Uh... 
I think PC is at the overwhelming advantage. It's not fair. Well, this game is for PC, but it has cross-platform play. So if you want to do your dailies or check the market, you can use your phone. But for ZVZing and playing properly, you need to do it on the PC. If you don't do it on the PC, it's going to be bad. Your phone will explode. It heats up your phone quite a bit. Because if you go ZVZing on your phone, it's bad for you. Because it will overheat your phone. Definitely will overheat your phone. Bank some shit and go back. I have a S10 and plus 5G because I don't have many things without a reason. If you have experience, freeze and pings goes up. Cool. So we got a Black Panther, so we just made 800k even if we die. Now I need to need to figure out what zone we're at now. Okay. Okay, on my way. Gonna queue again. Uh I but I would try Albion from Play Store. Yeah, log into the Play Store, log in from PC and you'll get a custom Chimera skin. Hold on to that skin. It might go up in price. Normally, those type of skins do go up in price. I need more money to make more fun clips with my guild. What guild are you in? Is it Shroom Squad? Enter. Nice. A custom what skin? Chimera. If you log in from PC and if you log in from an Android client, you'll be able to get a Chimera skin. And since most people won't be bothered to do that, so only the people that log in from mobile will try to do it on PC if they have a PC. But if you can log in from a PC and a mobile during the event time, you'll get a custom skin. That custom skin, if you hold it, it's going to be worth some money. Yeah, it's a horse skin. Okay, so I've just sold out and we're regrouping with the Zerg. Love my bits. Cool, 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 cool. Fuck. 
There's a there's a Zerg. I'm running through a Zerg. Uh okay. Going back to the main Zerg. Going back to the main Zerg. Come on. Oh shit, Anton won a hell of a lot of points. Anton's like number two now. I'm confused lately, want to go to a dungeon, but I'm afraid of gankers, want gathering, but very lazy. Yes, maybe just a casual gathering for silver. Um, it's kind of hard, because if you're afraid of getting ganked, that's... If you're afraid to get ganked, it's uh, this game is all about ganking and PvP. So if you're afraid of PvPing, it's going to be hard. What the? Going north. I'm going north. Almost there, almost there. What the? Where is everybody? Have you entered the deep road of Avion Smiling? Do you have the achievement? Maybe, I don't know. Yep, cool. I'm gonna regroup. That's Hishi, that guy never loses. Um, come on, come on. Almost regrouped, almost regrouped. Don't leave, I'm just entering. Don't leave, I'm just entering. Hey, do you have a mercenary laborers? If so, what tier do you recommend them? Never use mercenary laborers. They got nerfed to the ground. They got nerfed so hard to the ground. 
so it's it's not good to use merge labels the only excuse me the only labors you should be using are imbuers fletchers blacksmith tinkerers and fishing those are the only ones you should be using what do you mean and it's rank f and he has 3k guild points where, where did all your guild points go What do you mean? See, I just won. I just won. I cannot use spells while in combat. Am I gonna get ganked here? I don't wanna get ganked here. Oh, my ping's pretty low though. Alright, I'm gonna make my way back then. <coughs> yep, I'm separated from the Zerg, so we're just gonna make our way back. Like, I can't get to them because there's so many enemies, so reset day was okay for me, I guess. We won a couple of fights, made some silver. Any Warbo build that you recommend for open world and diving? Um, Badons are currently better than Warbo, if I remember correctly. Mainly due to the interrupts and the lightning cloud. So, but for Warbo, it'd be Assassin, Jacket, then Guardian Helmet. But Guardian Helmet got changed, so the build's probably changed. Would probably be Mage Cow, Mage Cow, because of the... Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I don't play Warbo, so I don't have a proper build for that. I uh, skip coins, vault, yeah. One nine hundred. All right, so we're gonna go back. Gonna go back. Legit seven losses in a row? Interesting. I'll look into that. Oh, that shouldn't be worse though. What, Andy guy? Who, who's winning points? Who's winning points? Oh, the Andy guy. What's happening? I wasn't paying attention since so I was trying to survive. What happened? Andy's winning 6 out of 6 and I've lost 7 out of 7.
I lost four out of four. Bro, well, he is losing because he just lost the. Any reason you're not showing gameplay? Yes, I'll be showing gameplay once I go back to a uh, thingy. My reset day is over, mainly because um, I got separated and I can't get back to them. It was fun, but it lost it. Uh, well, I'm going to go to bed. 2.15 in here. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by, Kali. You missed the fight. Uh, we only switched for like two minutes. But this is this is what we managed to loot. So 130k. Uh, 200. 200. 400. 400 plus that. 1.2 mil. 1. 1.3 mil. There you go. Cool. There you go. Both, both. One. What the? Hey, T is a good idea. We'll see. Let me see. How can I get back? One. One, two, three. One. The fastest way. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so oh, I'm overweight. I'm gonna do this. One, three. Let's go. Holy shit, look at this man. We are gonna make our way back. We're gonna make our way back. Went to eat and missed all the fun you did. Uh, we had a good two, three minute fight. After the two, three minute fight, um, we got zoned out due to cap, like map capping and queues, cluster queues and all of that. We didn't have priority. We had 1.5k IP, which is pretty good. But during reset day, people have even higher IP. They're in 8.1, excellent, 8.2, excellent, 8.3, excellent, masterpiece, etc. So um, we got zoned out and then after we got zoned out, we couldn't make it back to the Zerg. So we're just going to call, um, call it there. We're going to go back to Bridgewatch. Going to call, call it here, go back to Bridgewatch. I've just realized it's really easy to get 100k points if you gamble properly. Mm. Are they moving off the... No, the, the Zerg's still there. Yeah, 
You gonna catch me? Good luck, bro. Good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Go. So, we can go here, here, down, down. Okay, we can go that way too. Better to get what? a red tree. And run across and then stuff. One. Four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's go across them. Let's go. We're making our way back. They're still talking in comms, but I don't need to listen to comms. Uh, yeah, I got separated. I couldn't get back to the guild. I mean, the Zerg. So we're gonna regroup. It was fun. We'll see if we can do any reset too. Yeah, they're still talking. I think they're in a fight right now. I can hear a lot of screaming and yelling. There goes. Oh. Six, six, three. That's a uh, four times or five. T no, four times multiplayer. If you get 666, that is a 10 times multiplayer. But if you manage to roll, dice roll, 666, it will 10 times whatever you put in. You may have a lot of guild points, but he's still ranked villager. We've got a bunch of alliance hideouts here too. Cool, 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 cool. So, just making our way back. What? Who's shooting what? Users based on hours. Count toy. Ah, oh, GG. Alright guys, so what we're doing right now is we've done our EU reset day. We are going to go back and do uh, just deposit our stuff basically and wait for any reset if I do any reset. On my way to rank 1, good luck. Good luck bro. Mm. You're winning quite a bit. But you're doing it the smart way. So once you win big, you do a couple of small bets. 
Then you do the big bets again. And it seems to be working so far. Uh, what time is it? Can we do something? Oh no, it's 7.30. So reset day took up all our free time of doing like any other activities. It was fun though. It was fun in quite a long time. Glad I joined. I'll see if I can join for NA reset day. See um, how NA goes. See how NA goes. <laughs> um, coin one thousand. Make our way back. Let's make our way back. It was a good reset day. So far, so good. We had a good 3-4 minute fight. We wiped quite a few of them. But apart from that, uh, we got separated from the Zerg and then it was just like 30 minutes of playing catch-up. Cool. Oof. Back there. Gonna change it is on speakers. Cool cool cool. Is breeding animals profitable? Yes and no. If you're breeding the rare mounts, definitely possible. If you're not breeding the rare mounts, um, due to how focus works, I would just say do crafting, cooking, refining, or potions. But yeah, guys, that was our reset day. That was our money-making guides for today. Uh, we've been streaming for like four hours, so we're going to call it there. I don't know if I'll be streaming any reset. If I do, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys on Tuesday because Sunday's the off day. So Sunday's the day I catch up with like any editing videos, all of that stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys Tuesday. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. Don't forget to like the video. It helps out with the YouTube stuff. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when I go live and when all the new videos are and when the live streams are happening. And don't forget to check out my video that I posted yesterday, which was um, useful tools that you should be using for Albion Online. Wait, 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 what? What what's the what's the wait for? What's the wait for? <laughs> Thank you for the stream. No problem bro, no problem. What was the wait for? I do have a couple of minutes, but did you do a question? How often is reset day? It's once a month and every um, three months is a season. You go here. Yeah, every month is reset day. It resets three times in a season. A season is roughly 90 days. Every month. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys Tuesday. I'll see you when Monday when I release my new video.